Wow, I started that music kind of... The, the disc broke, okay? I don't, I don't know. The, the, the disc has... It skips. There's some scratches on it. I, I can't do anything about... Like, you, you returned it to the video store looking that way. Um, welcome to another stream of 21XX! We're live! That was abrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to start it. Um, welcome to all of our first-time viewers. Uh, for many of you who are going to likely uh, tune in to the 21XX Tabletop RPG, uh, we're going to probably use this video as a primer to kind of showcase the game as a whole. Uh, now, what is 21XX for those of you who have never heard of this thing or you just randomly clicked on this video uh, out of your own volition? 21XX is a tabletop RPG set in the Mega Man X universe of video games. Um, currently, as of the time of this recording, it is a game that is in active development. If you would like to be able to experience the game for yourself, you can- Holy crap, Burst Zen, thank you for subscribing to Control Alt Crit. Again, much appreciated. This is probably at least, uh, your- God, it's gonna be probably 24th or 28th. Uh, um, I'm- 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 I'm, I'm, qu I'm questioning. Thank you, Insomniac, for following Control Alt Crit. This is going to be a good night. I won't spoil Splatoon DLC, please don't. Uh, I have not played the game. Um, but as I was saying, 21XX is a uh, Mega Man X tabletop RPG. If you would like to be able to download the game for yourself and experience what we have available for players to play at this time, you can download our free foundation guide at www.21xxrpg.com. Uh, you just click on the... Um, uh, playtest today and you'll get a neat little link that'll take you to download our 273-page uh, foundation guide. And there's even a cool character builder on the website too, which is really neat. I do not have an at Discord page. You want to check it out, join us on the website. Uh, can somebody go ahead and link the website for people? Uh, our Discord link is there as well. I appreciate that. That is something I should probably put in to, uh, to, the, to the bot. Thank you. Um, but tonight, we're going to go ahead and play a module. This is actually the first time we've showcased a genuine 21XX module outside of conventions, uh, which is a pretty big deal, I think. Do we call that a big deal? I think we call that a big deal. Uh, I'd say it's a big deal. Uh, I am joined by uh, four players this evening. I will be the operator, or basically the game master tonight of this event. So if you would like to see how a 21XX game starts firsthand and get an understanding for the mechanics, this is the video for you. Um, before we go ahead and get started, uh, brief shout outs, of course, to all of our uh, wonderful patrons and subscribers over at patreon.com slash control alt crit and ko-fi.com slash control alt crit. All of you guys help to uh, make this game and all the other things that we do on this channel function. It keeps our lights on, keeps things going. Um, it also, for those of you who subscribe to Control Alt Crit, uh, and subscribe for 21XX content, you guys get playtesting material and can join in playtest games. As long as you're a $10 and up subscriber, you can get access to a fairly large chunk of the material. Every, every month, subscribers get new content, and they can pick and choose exactly what they want from month to month. And if you're a high enough tier, you pretty much get everything anyway, so, you know, that's a nice perk. Um, and we do games from X2 and beyond, uh, even though we only showcase with the Foundation Guide content from Mega Man X1, Mega Man 1, and Mega Man Extreme, respectively. Alright, I'm done with all the opening shenanigans talking about the logistical crap. I have some characters that I need to introduce. Sort of. We, we're gonna talk about, actually, our players first, and then we're gonna kind of introduce some of our characters, uh, one at a time. Or, like, over time as the story goes. Um, because we're going, we're rewinding the clock all the way back to 1993, um, and playing through the first Mega Man X game. We, we're doing the Central Highway, uh, so there's a lot of plot that we kind of have to open up through and talk about. And for those who've never experienced Mega Man X, you'll get to learn how the story is. Somewhat. Um, you'll get to learn a, a snippet of some of the greater parts of lore. Hopefully Vile is here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what goes on. That sounds vile. Um, 
but let's go ahead and introduce our, our four players. Uh, I'm going to introduce you first because you're here next to me. Uh, can you come closer to the camera? Because you are a little bit far. That, that was very close. You didn't specify. I'm sorry. Who are you? Ah, yes. I'm a T-Rex. My name is T-Rex. That's not your... <laughs> that's your character name. That's not... I need to fix the chat box. No, no. Um, no, I grew up to be a T-Rex. I I have several In questions. All right. Uh, so... <laughs> T, T, T with T E A rather than T Rex in <laughs> chat. Um, I don't like T. I don't like that. Um, no, um, T Rex is, I guess, like the model. He's like a construction. We're, we're gonna introduce characters in a second. I need you to introduce yourself. But, you can do both. But... Fine, I'm Autumn. What do you do, Autumn? Uh, Mope exists. Uh,. Since uh, Autumn is reluctant to 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 mention things, she is one of our core members of the Control Crit team. She is also a heavily dedicated map designer for the Twenty One XX Tabletop RPG. A vast majority of the stuff that you see, not only in our um, uh, for our subscriber uh, map materials, and a lot of the material that we'll be basing future iterations of material off of, comes from her stage designs. So that's pretty. That's a pretty big deal. Um, she also is one of our internal players and internal testers. Um, so I also wrote a book. She did. Uh, Autumn is an accomplished writer, so you should absolutely check out her content. Uh, check out the book Curiosity, self, uh, self, uh, novelized by with your actual name, Autumn Potts. Uh, I don't know. You've had pseudonyms for other things you've written before, so <laughs> they were a bit naughtier. This mm -hmm. one's nice, especially if you like Twenty One XX and roboty things. That's true. Or robot mermaids. It's, it's got aquatic robots. Pretty cool. Um, we won't see any of those tonight. Maybe we will in a future session, though. Could happen. Some uh, of the people in this stream have read my book. What did you guys think? <laughs> we're gonna start a book club. I thought we already did. You want to finish reading it? I, I'm. I'm close y'all have already finished it so um yes well once they started they couldn't put it down until they got to the end and they were mad so yeah, yeah autumn's character tonight is an analoid a dinosaur analoid you wanna can you give me a, a little bit of information on rexy a little bit of background information well, rexy is his nickname he's a t-rex he's a civilian he's a construction guy and i mean his biggest deal is he has anxiety Anxiety. Okay. Yeah, he's an anxiety rex. I. Mm. Mm. Plus two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've taken psychic damage. From I, <laughs> I, I'm not. All right. Okay, you're going on the map immediately. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put you right next to this crusher right here. No fucks given. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to bleep that out. No heck. Given. No hex given. Uh, <laughs> guys, if we could, let's. Uh, I've already broken my cardinal rule, but let's try and keep it PG tonight. I feel like that was um, not your cardinal rule, that's just a new rule. That's a new rule. We are going to try and keep these teen rated as best as we can to keep the. <laughs> you the, think teens don't curse? No, I just know that if we're going by the X series language, the most th that they say is. Mm, it, there's a. I'm just curious. A, you grew up playing these. Did you not curse? I mean, I did. I threw also through controllers. It's fine. Da oh, yeah, like damn, the damn issue. in the United States was the worst that it got. There are technically, it does get worse in the Japanese cuts, but, um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and move on to our next player down the list. And we're going on kind of from top to bottom order. So Cobalt, let's start with you. Uh, 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 hi. How's everyone doing? Yeah, it's been a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, uh, what, about a month? Hope Roughly. everyone's doing good. Hope, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, staying hydrated, staying warm or cold wherever you live. Cobalt, um, introduce yourself, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Cobalt. I am the resident chaos goblin and the devourer of all things chicken parm. Uh, and I will be playing Rook Hughes, the uh, hacker of the group a human who uh kind of just does whatever the heck he wants 
that's fair. Um, how you're going to be involved in this particular scenario is going to be a little bit by happenstance. Um, mm, yeah, I, I see where I am and I feel fear. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. I just, you know, had to replace an entire NPC in the module with you. So don't, there's no worries at oh. all. <laughs> oh, I, I have fear. Now. <laughs> Everything's going to be just fine. Uh, next, next, next on board, uh, our, uh, uh, our resident, uh, another resident, um, game master and the head of the Pokemon Stars series, uh, my boy Kinji, how it do? It do, it do, uh, yeah, uh, happy to be here, uh, you've already kind of taken my big accolade, I am the, uh, the mind behind Pokemon Stars and soon- Soon to be Pokemon Stripes, maybe. Yes, still uh, coming. Still coming. Uh, we will uh, we'll explore that more in the future and uh, do things on the interwebs, things on the Discord. Uh, argue about Final Fantasy with people a lot. Uh, yeah, but today I am playing Mason Man. <laughs> <laughs> I I love having robot masters in these because. I, I know it makes, like, uh, X-Series fans a little twitchy that they exist around this time, but they do. It's, they absolutely still exist. Um, how... We're gonna... I, we'll get to some backstory about Mason Man in just a little bit, because I have some questions. Um, <laughs> but, uh... I, I, was, I was gonna say, um... Uh... It, what... What brought on the, uh... The, the, the prospect or the concept of wanting to build a robot master like this? Uh, well, it was, uh, knowing a little bit about the module that we were going to be playing and having played, you know, you know, played the stage before, you know, it's, uh, who would be first responders, uh, coming out to a crumbling highway before they really understood that everything was under attack? Yep. Uh, Deployment Corps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and who are they going to send? They're going to send, uh, they're going to send a foreman. Yep. And so that's what Mason Man is. He's an older model uh, robot master. I was thinking about making him a Reploid, but I was like, no. They'd send out somebody to survey first. I mean, and so that's uh, that's really kind of more of his... Like, what, like, why I made him a robot master was more of a stylistic choice. Gotcha. Than anything else. And I appreciate I mean, that. And it actually, it'll work thematically into what we're going to be doing today. So I'm pretty hyped. Um, I would like to point out, you say he's a foreman, but he doesn't look like a grill. Uh, you know, oh. he could work for you, though. <laughs> I took burn damage on top of that. <laughs> and, uh... uh um, our final player for the night, and uh, uh, if you've been watching our previous uh, 21XX streams, much like Cobalt, you know them very well. Uh, please introduce yourself. Sorry for taking your thunder earlier, Kinchi. <laughs> Hello, I am Ronan. Uh, I am the mind behind the uh, character builder on the website, and uh, all things generally technological, and some uh, secret upcoming content. Very Secret excited. content! Secret content! <laughs> I forgot my ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has a recorder, it'll work just as fine. Um, who are you playing tonight, Ronan? I mean, I got, I got my tin whistle, hold on. <laughs> oh no. I am playing uh, Loader Man. Uh, in a similar vein to Mason Man, uh, I, I can move stuff around. I am good for moving heavy machinery moving things at the construction site. Gotcha. Uh, I've ended up in the uh, 17th Elite, uh, same kind of branch that X starts off in. Okay. And uh, I'd like to think he's here because you're not just going to send one guy into a combat zone. He's going to have backup. Yeah. Now, that was kind of, that was kind of the idea for this, for sure. Um, and uh, I, I, I appreciate this. Uh, it'll be nice to actually have another 17th uh, to start with. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, so now that we've kind of had a brief introduction of everyone, uh, yeah, lots of big boys. Agreed, agreed, chat. There are some big boys. We've got some, some, some large characters. We've got a big dinosaur. We've got a big loader bot. And just to specify, um, you are using the industrial uh, loading humanoid chassis, correct? Which is why we chose this 
this design? That is correct. Okay, so uh, you have you have the big 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 claw arm to work with. I will have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, does any wait? Um, does Mason Man also have it? I remember somebody else had big big lifty things. I think a lot of you guys have chromium to be able to lift things that are lar that are larger than you on your character yeah. sheets. Yeah, no, I there, also have that. There, there are a lot of heavy lifters in this party. Um, uh, which, Rexy doesn't do much lifting. I don't know if you've noticed, but he has very short arms. I, I, if I have to hear another Meet the Robinsons joke regarding a T-Rex, I am going to... I, I'm going to go Maverick. <laughs> I don't think it's going to turn out very well. I, I thought the DM already goes, Maverick. Welcome, Rose Barks. How it do? Uh, huh? Left oh, left eye. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, yeah, out of all of you guys, I believe you're the only one that has a defect. Am I, oh! am I incorrect? <laughs> God. What? How dare you I'm guys? <laughs> Defect yourselves! <laughs> yeah, I'm a robot master. I'm defective enough. <laughs> that's, that's, the dice know, will be man. my I'm defects today. That, that's fair. The 21XX dice bot is the true oh, final boss of this campaign. Um, and you're welcome. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and uh, get started with a little bit of descriptive shenanigans and logistical nonsense. And then we'll do our proper character introductions before we start this the the, the module proper. Um, so let's uh, let's do. I'm actually going to use Galvanize early on anyway. I really like this track. We'll be using it again for a good chunk of this session. Uh, cool. That was our now loading screen. Let's actually do the proper description. In the year 21XX. Robots with the ability to think and act for themselves have been created. They are dubbed Reploids, which is, uh, for those of you who need to know, is basically a combination of the words replicant and android. A uh, little bit of heavy sci-fi, a little bit of Blade Runner. Don't worry about it. As human and Reploid societies integrated, spread, and prospered, so too did criminal incidents involving Reploids. Any Reploids that are with uh, irregular, erratic, sadistic, or insane behavior would be dubbed as Maverick. To combat this new wave of crime, a special investigation and security organization consisting almost entirely of Reploids was founded. Uh, three of the people in our party are the almost part. They are the Maverick Hunters. Led by Sigma, the most advanced Reploid to date, defective and criminal Maverick activity slowed mere months after the Hunter's inception, and it seemed as if the situation was finally under control. Or so it would seem. Things are about to get a lot more complicated. The first chapter of the Mega Man X saga is in your hands. And let's get that greater, that little, that little, that greater description going on. It is June 4th of 21XX. If you guys want a very specific year, the canonical year that we're using for the head canon of this game is 2116, so now you know. A cold, chill wind stirs, and the sunset continues its descent, its basking orange glow giving way to darker red and pink hues. Coupled with the smoke and flames scattered throughout Able City, a dark purple shroud can be seen across the sky. Y'all want to take a look at it? Because we can we can just take a look at it right now. It's all around here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pan the buildings over here. Maverick Hunter headquarters is in turmoil. Sigma has declared a Reploid rebellion against humans. Insisting now is the time for the most advanced race on the planet to lead Earth into a bold new future. At some point in 2116, Sigma began to act erratically and would meet with his subordinates in secret, sowing the seeds of rebellion. He counseled those closest to him to defect from the hunters and urged them to challenge those who would oppose his supremacy. The rebellion extends far beyond Arcadia in scope. Its banners threaten to engulf the entire world. All humans and any reploids who defy their rule will be crushed. Currently, Sigma's forces have occupied much of the Arcadian city-states, and strategic points have been captured by various subordinates, 
subordinates, excuse me, formerly under his command, now branded as Mavericks. All remaining personnel still loyal to the Hunters have been called into an emergency briefing before they scramble out to protect and serve the humans under fire from this siege. Unfortunately for our Hunters in the group, this is your first assignment, whether it's on, on, whether it's on duty work or assigned contract work with the Maverick Hunters. A few other ones are just going to be in the crossfire. Yeah. You will all be assigned, reluctantly, to a team working as the first line of defense to defend Able City. How you choose to carry yourself in this first mission could impact the very future of the Maverick Hunters. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, some of y'all's characters, since we've already introduced them slightly. Uh, there's a little bit of background shenanigans I'd like to take care of before we begin. Uh, we're going to go in order of how we introduced everyone. Rex, I'd like to start with you, if that's cool. Sure. Um, okay. You're an analoid. How yeah. long have you been uh, active for the, uh, within the last eight months? You've only been around for about eight months. You are brand new. Oh, uh, well then we'll say about six months. About six months? Okay. So you've had half a year to kind of get used to your, your position. Uh, yes. Uh, I takes training very seriously. Okay. Uh, and safety and safety violations. It's uh, very OSHA friendly. Oh god, oh, you're OSHA compliant. Well, this stage is going to be oh. terrible for you. Yeah, he's uh, already having a bit of time. Um, okay. Your general purpose was just, uh, I mean, the your wrecking ball uh, tail suggests demolition. Is that, is that, your, that your only function? Or your intended function? But I mean, you're. His intended okay. Uh, good to know. Um, uh, since the since you are usually kind of relatively away from the scope of uh, Maverick conflicts, uh, this won't really. I I don't think you would have technically have probably given much thought to the prospect of defective uh, robots in most cases. So this is going to be a very eye-opening experience for you. Well, I know how to file a report on one. That's fair. Uh, do you have any hobbies or interests outside of being a demolition robot? Yes, I do. What do you do? My hobbies include... Hold on, I have my character sheet. I know one of them is, uh, like, knowledge architecture. Yeah, I did see that you had a, that you were an architecture buff, which can be very interesting. Uh, you also have... Oh, wrecking and architecture. Yeah, wrecking, so... So, so architecture you like buildings. would be my um, my hobby. I, I do a lot of time in this internet, surfing the web, looking at old structures and buildings, and um, oh. I have one of those little tiny collections of, mm. of like the little model pieces. Oh, like kind of like the die cast, like Art Deco looking ones. But the ones that you have to build. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, beep, boop, boop, beep. Our next one in the order was Cobalt. Uh, Rook, how old are you? Oh, boy. Um, you know, I, I think Rook's kind of like late 20s, early 30s. Gotcha. Understood. Um, how... Um, have you been focused on kind of like the the big social and political changes that have kind of taken place since Reploids recently were developed? Uh, I don't think he's paid much attention. The way he's seen it, it's kind of just business as usual. Now gotcha. there's just a new clientele to... Because he's a hacker, you know? He'll, he'll go in grab some data, sell it to the highest bidder, that kind of thing. Have you, has it kind of been a, like a bit of a weird culture shock having to interact with Reploid clients? Occasionally, yeah. Especially because he's like, I, he, he's got that mindset of like, if I'm ever put in a situation of hacking, like having to hack a Reploid, what kind of, like, what, what are the morals? Weird for a hacker to care about that, but you know, sometimes you just gotta be careful, you know? Have you not had the opportunity to hack a Reploid before? Uh, I have not, no. Okay, um, I will notate that for later. Thank you for that information. It's going to abuse Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's fine, don't worry about it. Um, uh, Mason Man, um... Reporting. 
how long have you been active, at least within the last 80 years or so? Uh, I was uh, one of the first uh, of the construction uh, organized line. And so it's been about 72 years now, I reckon. 72 years. Okay. Um, Are you a free mason? No, I charge by the hour, man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the accent. Um, okay. Uh, good, good to know. Um, so the impact, the, the, ro the robot landscape has been impacted pretty hard within the last year. Um, with the emergence of these Reploids, how do you personally feel about them? Within the scope of your programming, of course. You know, these fancy new ones. I, they just, all they did was take take all the good uh, purpose out of them. And, you know, I view them as shifty. Hmm. So, so uh, Sigma just basically going nuts at this point kind of vindicates that. You know, I always had my eye on that one. <laughs> I'm down for this. Uh, There's that blonde one running around. Don't like him either. <laughs> okay, so you're okay. You 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 have you have you have words about uh, about zero specifically. Good to know. Okay. Um. Well, you might have to. Yeah, you might have to deal with that shifty one later too. So. Uh, Loader Man, um, second verse, same as the first. How long have you been functioning within the last 80 years or so? I'm, I'm, I don't think as long as Mason Man. I'm yeah. going to go with uh, about 50, 55 years. 50 or 55 years. Okay, gotcha. So enough time to kind of see the the change, um, like the change in like emerging technology between one, one generational gap to another, even before mm -hmm. Reploids become a thing. Um... Yeah, those uh, those anti grav forklifts just didn't make sense. All right, um, how do you feel about the whole Maverick situation? I, I feel like that's why I have disciplined meditation. It's like there there's there's always something that's going on, and you just need to focus yourself, get centered. That is very fair. That that is extremely fair. Breaking out the jazz music. It's time. Oh god, you actually get to read this. I just realized you are very please don't do not focus on whatever the module is saying. I don't have a secondary screen, so you get what you get. Um I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer. Ah! Oh that's cool. I didn't even know I could do that. They're dancing. Synchronized reploid dancing. And not reploids. Oh we need you know what? No well yeah, synch synchronized robo dances. Oh, is um, this what the Maverick Hunters do for uh, team building? Yeah, <laughs> hey, so they've got they've got to do some kind of like team building exercise, right? I know we, the manga is uh, karaoke, like drinking and karaoke is the usual one. Uh, I was just I mean, about to say we have the hits of Gutsman on repeat. Damn, square dancing. Uh, on yeah, well, Gutsman was a karaoke guy, so yeah. Uh, this is this is actual canon and is absolutely presented in the Twenty One XX Foundation Guide. Um, Let's 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 move on. Uh, so you guys are at Maverick Hunter HQ, or at least are four individuals right here, standing 38 stories tall. Maverick Hunter headquarters is located in the middle of Sector One, Block 3A in Able City, with an almost translucent cerulean sheen and a striking triangular glass roof, nearly spear-shaped and looming overhead. Hunter Base stands as the reminder of collective human and reploid achievement. Several, several smaller domed buildings encircle the perimeter of the central base, but all are inaccessible without proper clearance. This is, an, this is an emergency situation. So without any time to waste, you dash past the receptionist area, uh, Loader Man and Mason Man, uh, and make your way northeast to, the, to a trapezoidal gap leading to the even floor elevators. The ride up to the 28th floor, where command is, is swift, and the hall leading to the command briefing room is sleek chromed over in a glossy cyan and cerulean sheen. Yellow LED strips can be seen lining the floor, showcasing a path to a wide automatic door, which slides open immediately when you are no more than about five feet from it. In a circular room, surrounded by navigators on their comms units, can be seen a massive hollow projector display, active and showcasing a constantly shifting feed of Able City and an overwhelming rate of Maverick attacks. 
overlaying stacks of red exclamation points and lettered threat rankings from A to D. Moving quickly to the hollow projector display is a red reploid with a dual horned helmet, rounded shoulders, and long blonde hair. Everybody in the chat, go ahead and do your squeeze right now. We all know who this is. Um, Wait, who is it? And then we'll get to it in a second. It's Link from The Legend of Zelda. Dang! I should have <laughs> known! Um, <laughs> following him is a blue reploid with a rounded helmet. His green eyes are wide in alarm, and his hand is placed over the red reploid's shoulder as if in an attempt to calm the situation. Zero, there has to be a mistake. Let's open a dialogue with Sigma and, and find out what's really going on. Um, maybe we can find a way to end this peacefully. The red reploid turns around and snaps back in anger. He's bombing Arcadia! Able City is burning! I've got hunters dying in the street to other hunters! And he's threatened to launch missiles! There, there's no peace to be had, X! The blue reploid, who you now know as X from that shout, um, considers Zero's words. And then Zero, with a stern look, says, I have humans and reploids to save, so get to some cover. I don't want you to get hurt. Well, we care about each other. X looks down for a moment and then kind of looks back at him. No. You've got another hunter on your side now. Tell me what to do. As the automatic door opens, and both Loader Man and Mason Man make their way in, two robot masters watching this bromance between two reploids, um, uh, Zero turns to face you all. Uh, he, slightly in alarm, noticing you guys coming in, but then he immediately does his take charge attitude, seeing that X is also here and ready to do something as he primes his buster. Um, showing that he's got, like, he's he's got a semblance of attitude for it. <sighs> Recruits! If there was ever a time to show what you're capable of, it's now. Arcadia's under siege, and I need to get checkpoints established all over Able City before we can assess the damage and scout out for more intel. Um, he kind of looks away for a moment and says, Carol! Based on your analysis, where can I send X and these others to? Uh, a pink-haired reploid, who I completely forgot to grab the image for, but I'm going to go do that right now, because I know where she is. Um, figure you guys want to see what she looks like. Got to go to minis. Oh, where's my girl? Where's she at? Uh, Carol, where are you? Carol, I need you. There you are. Oh, did I grab the wrong Carol? I did. That's okay. Krusty Jake Peg Carol, go. <laughs> Carol after a hard weekend. Yeah, Carol after this weekend, I think. Um, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. Um, a pink-haired reploid with orange armor complies. Yes, sir. To prevent, fur to prevent further damage to the infrastructure below, I recommend starting from Sector 19, Block 3, at the first Central Highway Barricade. Zero looks at each of you and says... Then that's where, you're go that's where you'll go. You've got five minutes to prep before transport. Any questions? No, sir. Priority on... Uh, on the life of the rebels? You mean whether or not they should remain active or be retired? Yep. I think it goes without saying. If they're killing, if they're killing other hunters and humans are dying in the streets... They have to go. Do my best. That's really not a lot. No, it's not. But they're robots. With you. So think about how much they process information. It's efficiency. I meant like getting stuff to take with. Them. Oh, no, absolutely. Well, I mean, teleport things exist. They can teleport objects as you need them. Hey, they, five minutes is five minutes. That's all I got for you. Um, but, but yeah, no, but, but Zero says, yeah, retire them. Do my best, sir. Uh, Carol also kind of li li like gives uh, um, assigns basically orders to each of your dossier or like to your uh, your internal diag uh, diagnostics 
uh, once you receive a ping on, because you basically now at this point are all tied to the same comm channel. Both a Mason, or Mason Man, Loader Man, and Mega Man X are now in the same comm, uh, comm space together. Carol basically provides you the same mission as Zero has requested. Terminate Mavericks with Extreme Prejudice. Um, but yeah, uh, it, 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 Zero says, if we're done, you can go ahead and uh, go to the teleportation module. You'll be there within five. Dismissed. Um, Zero just kind of walks off to kind of go to uh, something else that he needs to handle. And X literally just kind of extends his hand out for a second before he drops it. So, as he uh, extends the hand out, it's uh, like I reach out and 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 grab it and shake it vigorously. Ah. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Max. R what, who, who, what's your name? Mason Man. We got a job to do, son. Let's go do it. Uh, he turns over to the other one, also the other large guy behind him. Uh, I suppose we should all get to know know each other. Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, they call me Loader Man. You need to move that cat, please. <laughs> please move. Don't you mallet me. She didn't like that. Yeah, you need to go, man. <laughs> um, the cat will not be silenced. The cat will not be silenced. Loader Man and Mason Man. Well, I suppose that's going to make names a lot easier to figure out. Justice for the cat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, make your way over to the teleportation module. Carol, uh, um, gives you some, uh, gives you a reminder of what you need to do. Um, you, uh, or make your way to teleport in, and, uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Normally, I would give you guys an extra moment to do a narrative encounter, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna go right in. Um, and to make everyone mad, I'm using the Maverick Hunter X version of this track. Uh, I'm not mad. Oh, yo. Sorry, I just gotta start headbanging. Alright, guys. It's time. Lock. Um. Okay. Uh, ba -ba. Don't worry about... Don't worry about any of that. Um. You teleport in. Making it to the barricaded checkpoint. The highway lane leading to the Block 3 exit has been kept open for straggling vehicles that could make it out of the firefight. Further ahead, the highway splits into two dedicated roadways, an industrial HOV and a commercial lane. I need each and every person in the group, the core starting group right now, to go ahead and roll a sensory check for me. Um, depending on how well you do will depend on how our other two members are being introduced. Um, I'm about to get to you in a minute, actually. It was weird having to split the party this time, but I kind of like the way it's happening. Wait, didn't they use this version of the song for, uh, Mega Man X Dive? They did use it for X Dive, that's correct. Thirteen! Oh, boy! And I would like to point out at this time that Mason Man has a piece of equipment that is relative with sensory checks. Yeah, uh, can you go ahead and let me know about that piece in particular? I have an item finder. Oh my god, you have, not only do you have the extra untrue- item which, sensor, yeah. Yeah, that should have been a U2, by the way, but I'll take the, um, um, because that came up a little bit different. Can you go ahead and roll that as U2 plus 1d10? I hate to make you re-roll it. Um... Like like the band, um, but oh, then two untrained, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's U two plus one D ten, uh, the plus two. Hopefully you get a decent roll. I hope to. I hate to make you re-roll that, but I want to make sure it's it's accurate. U two plus one D ten yep. plus two. Yep. There Close we go. Enough. Close enough. <laughs> and you have the you have that's really cool that you actually have the um the item sensor. Uh, Loaderman, did you also roll as well? I uh, just rolled an 8. Holy crap, you guys have some very high rolls right now. <laughs> um, okay, so I have some, I have some extra, a lot of information to provide each of you. Uh, especially Mason Man, actually. Uh, despite the initial hunter checkpoint established by 17th Unit soldiers, three Reploids that were holding down the area 
uh, who I would have shown on the map, but I don't want to show bloody reploid parts, have succumbed to their wounds. Uh, their armor pierced and their circuitry exhaling a shower of sparks. Thankfully, their broad-range actuator kept a constant signal and was not destroyed. However, this area may not be safe to touch down any further. So now you guys know there's a broad-range actuator in the area. I'll go ahead and mark it with a meeple. Um, actuators in the 21XX system are basically little objects that you can place down to provide benefits. In the case of the broad-range actuator, it allows the, the hunters to maintain communications, even if, they, um, even if there's a chance uh, or if there's a high chance of uh, communication jamming and allows them to expand their communications range. Um, so that's fairly helpful. The, the actuator is basically right behind you. A little bit of extra info. Ahead, you can find a few crusher mechanoloids uh, attempting to crack the highway roads and causing them to buckle and drop to the city below. Being at most 40 feet above the ground, entire buildings, roadways, and civilians could be damaged. Um, there is a little bit... Well, I meant entire buildings, roadways, and civilians. Yes, entire civilians. Yes, they could... <laughs> the, the entire civilians could be crushed. Um, maybe part civilians, too. Who knows? Uh, further ahead, you also spot uh, what seems to be a terrified-looking uh, large uh, mechanoloid... Or not, a large aneloid. Um, Rexy, you, you have now been seen within view. How are you handling things? Cowering and counting. You're counting? Yes. Count, counting to what? To ten? No, no. At this point, I'm probably up to about 113. And you're, you're just, your eyes are closed. No. Oh, okay. No, I, I'm counting violations. Oh, you're counting OSHA violations. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's hey. <laughs> hey, uh, loader man. Yes. Isn't that the the demo specialist that we used on that job about? month and a half ago you know i think you're right x kind of turns around you know them i i'd, I'd say that might be a uh, a Good friendly term. term well they're they're civilians nonetheless we need to get them off the road that's not safe for nobody out here um, a little bit further ahead, because your sensory... The sensory of 12 got you a lot. Uh, I can expand to the other portion of the map. Um, you see uh, a little bit further, um, two Gunvolt Mechanoloids blip in response to remote orders, performing a sweep of the area for hunter targets. Um, <laughs> and uh, you are able to identify with your item sensor... Um, life signs in one of the two crashed vehicles um it identif uh, as you can I it's identified as organic in nature uh so you got a meat bag to worry about that's a little unfortunate and it looks like he does have uh, uh because of the way the item sensor will work rook hues uh they will identify your inventory so if you have anything that you did not want to know that you had they now know that you do you can share that information to Mason Man via DM if you wish. I mean, I'll, I'll share the whole thing. Oh, okay. Uh, you <laughs> Your data just lights up. Because <laughs> being honest, I don't mind saying what I have. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, so I have, ignoring all the parts that I have, a jacking kit with several programs, a data pad, a brake hammer, and a Civic Buster, but I don't think that qualifies. You have a hammer? Where's it in the trunk of your car? Yes. I... I have I have several questions. None of which <laughs> I believe will be answered. Um, yeah, there's sure, a bit I of duct know. tape. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, because I don't have the answers to them. <laughs> cool. Uh, the first thing that you have been able to actually identify in the area, by the way... Uh, behind uh, the gun vault is a life energy capsule. That was what you were able to initially identify with your item sensor. Free health Huzzah. potion! Uh, which, by the <laughs> way, yeah, for, for those play, playing 21XX, the, uh, the life energy capsules are effectively the healing potions of this tabletop game. So uh, use them 
as you need to. You don't just immediately pick them up and consume them. You can use them as consumable items, uh, which can be nice. And yes, they can, in fact, also heal humans for life energy as well. Don't worry about it. Um, so that may be good, considering uh, there is a human fairly close to it. Uh, all right, now that we've done our initial rolls and we are effectively out of downtime because there are enemies everywhere, we are going to initiate the combat encounter of this session of 21XX. The objective is to, one, save all the people that are um, on the map and players don't die, uh, and two, get to the end of the highway and, uh, and secure the perimeter. Um, that's the plan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys decide how you would like to start this. For the case of Rook, uh, you are in a car. You are not with the party yet, but your immediate danger is noticeable. So depending on how we do things on the map, you could be in trouble. Uh, you guys are still technically in a party, even if you haven't met up yet. So I will let you guys decide tactically how you'd like to do things. In the 21XX system, uh, when you guys start in a combat encounter, you guys choose your tactical order of how you would like to do things. It goes in the order of player enemy, player enemy, player enemy, until everything is basically done. And we go to the, start, uh, the cooldown phase and the start of a new combat round. X is considered a member of your party, uh, but I will probably move him at the end of once once you guys have done your things. So, who would like to go first? Any suggestions? Uh, given the immediate uh, danger, I vote Rook. Everyone else cool with that? Good here. Uh, yeah, Rook, you... Um had uh we were basically driving to get off the road as best as possible trying to make it to the next exit lane um and this giant bipedal tank of a of a uh mechanoloid stops you in your tracks and launches two missiles at your car uh your car is at this point in shambles it has swerved your tires have basically part of your tires have blown clean off of it um it's it's not looking great you're not able to move this vehicle at this point uh, you are a sitting duck, and uh, to make matters worse, your door is jammed. What do you are starting our combat round? And I just flipping paid this thing off, you little. <laughs> He's going to roll down his window. Okay, you can do that. Yeah, you roll down your window. I'll give that to you for free. Uh. He points a, what looks like a rusting, like, it's it's a cybernetic arm. It doesn't look the greatest of quality. There's rust here and there. Gotcha. Uh, the hand shifts to reveal a Civic Buster. Oh, a little, little bit of matter formation technology. Neat. Yep. And uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm going to charge one and then i am going to uh fire and now i have to try and remember sure. how uh... uh the civic buster for you is going to be you char you said you charged one yep okay so charging in the 21xx system every time so uh there are six stats in the in 21xx you have power mobility uh aptitude analytics uh lucidity and charisma uh, each of them have different intended uses. Uh, power, in most cases, is generally used for being able to perform uh, normal power attacks and also to initiate abilities that use power, such as charging your weapon, for example. Um, references for people who have not played before. Oh, gosh. Hey, guys. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Um... My TV just died. Oh. <laughs> uh. Was it the cat? Did the cat turn the power strip I off? don't know. I'm going to double check. Um. Um. I have several questions. Okay, there we go. We're fine. The HDMI just needed to be reconnected. Holy crap, that was terrifying. <laughs> I thought we were dead. Um, television, how could you? Everything's good. Uh, 
So for the Civic Buster in particular, you get to see a cool little the gray looking buster that basically powers out of your arm. You will need to roll for a charged uh, uh, for a charged weapon attack for you. Uh, the Civic Buster has a unique charge capability where instead of just charging for one multiplier, one charge level is all it can do. But it rolls for three d four. So I need you to roll u plus three d four plus your power. Oh, I, I'm rolling 3d4? Yes. Plus, uh... When you charge one time with the Civic Buster, it is a 3d4 uh, 3d4 to roll, and a 3d4 to hit, and 3d4 to fire. That is a 14. That is a solid hit, my guy. Yeah, the Civic Buster early on is a very strong weapon. Um, I am going to attempt to dodge, uh, which means I am going to... Uh, I should have declared that ahead of time, but uh, we had some shenanigans with my TV. Uh, it's going to be U plus 1d4 uh, plus... I need my gun bolts. My gun bolt. Gun bolt. Gun bolt. Uh, has a mobility of 3. Okay, gotcha. U plus 1d4 plus 3. That is a 6. A 6 will not dodge it. Go ahead and roll your damage. 4 plus 3, please. Ooh, that is... A Holy... Crazy. My guy. Oh, boy. In the first roll of the night, the first combat roll of the night, your charged <laughs> weapon attack is three large compressed solar bullets that rip through the gunvolt mechanoloid. In three quick succession, quick succession shots, you destroy the gunvolt in a single attack. Oh man! <laughs> was not expecting that. Yeah, that was its entire life energy pool. Yeah, you did it. No, I'm not, telling you, that was very impressive. That was you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna play some play play the the badass stage select theme now. All right, that was your first action. All right. Uh, well, first thing I'm gonna try and do is get out of my car. Um, yeah, sure. Um, to explain why, uh, in most cases, we were able to have that, that immediate blowout, uh, Cobalt's positive critical explosion on his Civic Buster, uh, rolled multiple dice, um, and, uh, just because of the, uh, just because of the damage that was dealt, uh, actually, wait, yeah, four plus three. Oh, did I actually, did I mess that up? Four, three, ten... Oh, I am actually incorrect. I am incorrect. I'm glad I caught that. He's close. That would have been really cool, actually. It wasn't his entire life energy pool. Sean strikes again. Just blame it on the attack. No. Um, you're... Uh, it doesn't... It, it, you, just to give you a fake out. It falls and slumps over for a second. And then its eyes activate and restack back up. You did 10... Of the 12 life energy that was needed to be able to take that out in a single hit. Um, you were close. There, you've done 10 life energy and 2 shield energy to it. Generally in 21XX, when you deal damage to a target, uh, if you do not do a positive critical explosion on something such as piercing damage, uh, you'll just be hitting uh, your, their shield energy with initial attacks. Shield energy is how many hits they can take for each point of shield energy they have. It's how many... Po um, how many points of uh, how many attacks they can take until it uh, goes to zero, and they have to take damage from their life energy? How dare you? Um, <laughs> just prefacing that for people who are going through. Uh, so in this case, because a positive cri critical explosion or a critical basically was rolled on a piercing attack, the bonus of uh, piercing weapons is that they ignore shield energy and damage life energy directly. He did ten damage, four plus three from the rolled over damage from that, plus uh, the three of his power, which would be 10. Uh, and then two points of shield energy from the other two bullets, which did not crit. Um, still a very impressive hit. Uh, sorry, Cobalt. Do you want to try and get and actually murder this thing? Yeah, you know what? He's just going to... Nice. Just so you know, when I'm done with this, I'm taking your parts and I'm using them to re... I'm selling them to fix my car. And he is going to... <laughs> yeah, I'm down for this. Uh, one more uh, one more shot. One more shot. A seven to hit? 
Yep. That's how you know I'm tired when I forgot how crits work. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> second hit uh, does, in fact, not connect. And the gunbolt kind of steps out of the way. In uh, uh, almost as if it's mocking you. Neener, neener. Okay. Now with okay. that, you've used all three of your power actions for the round. What else do you feel like doing? You know what? Uh, th there's, there's a first time for everything. All right. The the urge to see if I can try and crap make my car move and crash it into the gun vault is tempting but instead uh rook reaches down okay into, into his glove compartment pulls out a data pad and a little pair of i guess earbud things sure puts them over his ears presses a button and a little visor pops up for the cybernetic hud cool and I'm going to try and hack this gun vault. Okay, you're performing a hack skill check. Go ahead. Yep. Um, I have... <laughs> pro tip, I have a lucidity of zero on this target, so I don't know how much use I'm going to be of being able to uh, to oppose that, but we'll see how you do. I mean, 1d10 plus 2. That is 1d0, I... my guy. <laughs> I don't uh, think the dice can handle that. I need to play, I need to program that in. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just post it just zero feels a disturbance in the force. No, it gives you a rickroll link. Uh, so, um, how hacks work in the twenty one XX system is you have to be able to exceed at milestone one. You have to be able to exceed. Um, uh, the hack DC is basically equal to eight plus the milestone of the target. Right. Um, in most cases. So in this case, it was nine. You beat it successfully with a ten. Congratulations. Nice. What uh, the way hack works is you are able to select one of the six stats on a character. Has to be a stat, not the resource pools. Um, and you are able. To, basically, you restrict it from being able to perform those actions. Only you can perform those actions for them during your turn. All right. Now here's a question. Yes. Can I see any other uh, Mavericks from uh, my car? From your car, you can see across the way the other uh, Crusher and Gunvolt nearby. Okay. Uh, I am going to lock power because I don't want this thing attacking me. Oh, you're going to lock their power. Okay, gotcha. Yep. And uh, what can I make this thing do? I have to pull up the enemy appendix. Um, the, uh, the gun vault, um, is pretty powerful. It has two special weapons built into it. Uh, the homing torpedo and the spark burst. And it has two micro-missile racks, which, uh, is a little bit overkill, if you don't mind me saying so. Hmm. Uh, in that case, uh, let me see what homing torpedo's range is. Uh, at this point, I believe... Page 214... You know what? We can look at it together on here. Uh, hey. Custom. Uh, no, wait. Don't offset at two fourteen, please. I realize I have to. I have to. I have to skip very. Is there a? Is there an easier way to do that? Uh, page. No, because no. it only goes to like a certain point. Oh, hey, there we go. Uh, eh. Homing torpedo. Or wait, what's the way? How, how's Mark Gatha say it? Homing Torpedo! Um, <laughs> uh, homing Torpedo is a range of 90 feet when uncharged. And, uh, I mean, it can charge it, technically. but yeah, I don't know how many power attacks it has. Uh, yes, that's true. You don't, which means you'll have to guess. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to shoot one at the crusher you're going to uh, use the uh your analytics action with your hack to be able to force it to do a power action correct that is a solid choice one homing torpedo you say yep right you at that crusher plus 1d4 plus uh my boy gunvolt has i believe a power of three 
not Dr. Wily. That would be a very different character. Wow. Wow, he's in the gun vault. <laughs> uh, he has a power of four, actually. Damn, 1d4 plus four against the Crusher. The Crusher is not going to see it coming, but it rolls a zero. <laughs> the Crusher might have seen it coming. <laughs> You'll always see it coming. Hold on. Ho hold, 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 hold on. Uh, you just made a Persona joke. Now I'm playing the the <laughs> butterfly kiss. Because we need to talk about this for a second. Butterfly kisses. Oh, no. You rolled a... You didn't roll a negative, but you effectively rolled a miss. Generally, when misses or negatives are rolled in the 21XX system, the operator can have a little bit of fun with what takes place. You just fired a homing torpedo missile at a crusher that is overhead a, a highway, right? Yes. I will say that that missile basically collides with this rightmost portion of the uh, of the highway, and I will still roll damage on it. Mm. <laughs> All right. This is fine. That's bad. And that is? Uh, that is an 11, 11 fire impacting damage on the highway itself. Uh, that's actually, so, uh, basically this entire portion, this upward portion of the map right here, that's on the next portion of it, and the starting portion here, that's gone. Oh. You, you have removed it from the battlefield. Part of the highway is gone. Um, and it is falling below to, uh... You know, to, to destroy some buildings and potentially some human casualties. We should probably not tell Osha about where we're going. <laughs> He's just yeah, like, you just hear a little voice from down the road. 277! <laughs> I think if I listen closely, I can hear someone going, Cabbages! <laughs> uh, you have one more. Oh no, you, that was your last hack action, so I believe you're done for the turn. I have two analytics and aptitude, so yeah, I think that's all yeah. I can do. Uh, cool. Uh, so you have to pri pass priority to the to the to the next enemy. This gunvolt cannot perform power attack actions unless you basically give it permission to. So and I'm not doing that. All right, this would been the next one lined up at this point. So for right now, he's uh, he's gonna he's gonna try and what's the best thing that i can make him that's i know what's the best thing i can make him do he can't perform power actions to jump but he can perform mobility to jump um oh no and i'm gonna have him perform a 1d8 plus 3 jump check on your car you feel the weight of your vehicle um buckle uh, as you feel the entire weight of this large target uh, attempt to uh, um, crease your vehicle to pieces. it does a, I'm effectively saying it does a point of shield energy. Um, if you take one more point of shield energy on this vehicle, an additional uh, life energy damage, uh, it will be destroyed. Oh boy. Um, so you, you better do something about getting out of that car. That's illegal! Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I won't do any more actions. I'll give him one mobility from here. I'll pass to the next player. Um, who would like to go next in the order? Let me go back to... I'll give it a go. Cool. Um, Ma okay, I guess this is Mason Man's theme. Let's go. I'm good with that. It's good music. It's, uh, it's the uh, world map from Guardian War for the 3DO. <laughs> That's uh, a all right. <laughs> I mean, there's. I mean that. Rexy's not gonna, not gonna get any better if we just leave him out, leave him alone over there. So I'm going to advance. My speed is 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Not a lot. Not a lot. I don't think. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do just yet. I need to be closer. And so I am going to. Damn, 
What's the range on the Guard Buster? Uh, the range on the Guard Buster. Let me go back to the page where it's going to be, which I believe is around 80 something. The fact that I can just do that with my brain is scary sometimes. Uh, the Guard Buster has a range of 60 feet. You Looks can... like that is just in range for that little guy. Yeah. Excellent. I'll take a pot shot at the at the crusher to attempt to get its attention. I'm going to... Uh, it's going to be this one right here? Yeah, the one straight in front of me. All right, sure. Oh, the one directly in front. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I will attempt to evade, because it does see you coming. Uh, one, two, good old crusher evade. Now, the crusher is actually not in... The 21XX Foundation Guide. It is currently subscriber content, but that will change for the future. Uh, in a future iteration of the Foundation Guide, it will exist. I just haven't had the opportunity to place it in yet. Alright, so that should be U plus 1D4 plus 1. That is cur- Ooh, you have a 1 power, alright! Oh, don't forget I'm the die in there. Yep. I am good at other things, except <laughs> I'm amazing! Ooh. <laughs> that is a 19 to hit, which absolutely succeeds and will hit the crusher. Please go ahead and roll your d4 plus one. What is with y'all rolling crits tonight? What did you do to the dice bot, Ronan? I rebooted it. <laughs> Apparently! <laughs> that, is, that is a positive critical explosion with a plasma piercing weapon which will pierce through their shields they will take 7 out of their 10 life energy um, they're not doing so good they kind of spin out in a bit of a like a whoa um, <laughs> in a bit of a whir um, and try to keep themselves upright I have to roll a hack or not a hack check I have to roll a flight check to be able to determine and see if they can still keep afloat if not then they're about to drop to the ground um, so give me a second while I basically eat another flight check on them. Um, you plus, oh wait, no, their flight's actually really good, isn't it? Their flight's adept, it's, it's decent. Um, that is a three. That is not the minimum that they need to be able to cover that. A three will not do it. Uh, they will fall and their speed will reduce to zero for the combat round. They also are out of mobility actions going forward. They are a sitting duck. Hear a little bit of a roar. Excuse me. Do you have a license to retire, sir? <laughs> hey, Rexy. Uh, I got one of the boss men over here. One of the hunters. That's nice. That's not what I asked. You I have, do. I you do. Have, you have I, <laughs> sure I left with all the paperwork. Okay. I remember working with you before. Well, that's... That's nice. We work together? <laughs> well, anyways, if you have a license to retire, there's another one over here. <laughs> that's fair. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So that's your single power action. Is there anything else you wish to do uh, for your turn before we pass along? No. I'm going to hold for mobility in case I need it. That is a valid choice. Um, wow, that, that, that crusher is uh, not going to be useful. So you know what? Uh, I'm going to have this one come after you, Rexy. Um, now let's point out a very important thing. Does the license have a limit? Like a deer tag? Man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if it was a like digger it. license, maybe. Um, but we're, that's the wrong series. Um so, uh, every time we've been doing things such as uh, rolling to evade, uh, it's something known as a reaction. You know it, I know it, Our other folks out there may not know it. Um, there are other things that you can do other than evade during gameplay. Uh, I don't know if you wish to showcase that, but at any point in time, all of us as a group can perform reactions in response to everybody doing things each other. Uh, now, granted, yes, we're, we're taking things slow for first timers to kind of acclimate and understand how the system works, we don't have to do that during the boss round. Don't worry about that. Uh, but just if there's a, would you be willing to try a different would you action? Like you to react? Yeah, I would like you to react. That's, okay, I, but it's an accident. Oh, it's an accident. Yeah, because I'm facing, uh, I'm facing. Uh, uh, 
mech man. Yeah. He's a man. And so when this guy comes up behind me, I'm just going to spin around the opposite direction. You're going to use your serotanium flail tail. And it yeah. but it's an accident. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. Because the, the crusher is going to attempt to hit you with its ground crusher technique first. So as a reaction, you will do a power attack action as well. So you guys are both going to hit each other. Nobody's evading. Um, so... Uh, you plus, I'm going to roll for the Ground Crusher, which is going to be you plus 1d6 plus its power, which is 4. Dang. Uh, that is a... <laughs> oh, no! I rolled a 3. It still connects. It just... It's very unruly, and that's probably because you also whack it with your tail. Now, you did not choose a special <laughs> weapon unlike the rest of our other party members. We had a discussion. I, I have a weapon. It, well, I do have a weapon. That's not true. I have this tiny little beam dagger. <laughs> Which is fine. You only need that for, like, uh, to be able to, like, cut your, cut, like, it's, like, Cable ties that yeah, I can't break wire cutting, basically, yeah. Um, but in the case of your Ceritanium tail, uh, generally in the Foundation Guide, there's only the retrofitted tails. Uh, which means that uh, this is she's Autumn is technically playing with subscriber content. Uh, she wanted to be able to play with an actual T-Rex tail, uh, which does exist uh, in other uh, subscriber material, uh, or at least the type of weaponized tail itself does. Um, to forego that, I basically said she had to not have a special weapon today. Um, but that being said, this weapon is pretty good. Your Ceritanium Flail Tail. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's... By the way, I'm resistant to force damage. That's okay. This thing isn't doing force damage. So, um, this... You didn't tell me in here what... What it does. The Ceritanium Flail Tail? Yeah, yes, I did. The uh, it, it's in there. Um, it says uh, attack die is U plus 1d4 plus power. Damage die is 1d4 plus power physical piercing damage. Has a range of 10 feet. You have advantage on damage die rolls against objects or obstructions. When an enemy target is dealt shield energy damage by the Ceritanium Flail Tail, they are also dealt one life energy damage. Both the shield energy damage and life energy damage cannot be increased, reduced, or prevented. Well, fun fact, when you export, it doesn't give you all of that. Oh, um, that's unfortunate. I apologize. So it's going to be U plus 1d4 plus 3. Uh, you guys both connect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll the damage. 1d6 plus 4. You take one point of shield energy because it doesn't. Uh, it's not a positive crit, so it doesn't go any further forward than that. Uh, and then you're going to roll a d4 plus 3. Uh, that will deal not only one point of shield energy, but also one point of life energy to them as well, because of your tail. Um, All I did was spin in a circle. I know. Ah, I'm sorry! I didn't mean that! You, uh, you do whack them successfully, and they weren't ready for it, so I'm going to go ahead and roll a flight check to see if they can maintain themselves and keep themselves above board. That's an 8. They will succeed and can successfully keep up with a flight, but they are kind of... So they I, don't, I don't have a license to retire. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> um, it is going to come at you with a uh, another attack. No, no, please. Would you? That is a three. Would you like to evade on that? Uh, no, I'm just going to spin around again. You're just going to just tail. Okay. Well, because I would turn around to run away from him. Oh, I see. So you're... But thematically, it's it's tail attack. Yeah. Okay. So wow, you're like a, you're basically just like a a, a a bumbling character. Oh yeah, no, he's an idiot. Okay, beautiful, hundred <laughs> percent, perfect. Uh, I just realized I rolled the wrong I rolled the wrong thing for him. I rolled I rolled your thing. F I did roll the wrong thing. I did. I am I am. I are, that that d four plus three doesn't count. Or count. It should be a d eight plus three. So that is a thirteen to hit on you. You're rolling to attack as well. Me? Yes, he's hitting on you. You guys are both rolling your damage. You take another point of shield energy, Rexy. You have currently taken two, mm -hmm. and you have five, so you have three left. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll damage on here. That's, again, another point of shield energy on this guy. Whack, whack. Um, it's done three. You've only used two... No, it's, it's only used two, am I saying? Yeah, it's used two and I've used two. Um, shall we do the last one? The last, the last... 
I, mean, I realize I've made contact with it with my tail again, and I, I turn around. Rats! I'm sorry! I'm not trying to hit you! And then it tries to hit you again, and you try to do the same. That just is inconceivable! You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Um... Alright, three points of shield energy all around. That's actually not great for you, because you do not have a lot of shields. Um... Yeah, you have, you have you have two left currently. No. Um... Oh, you have a shield battery actuator, don't you? I have bought. Did you get shield battery alpha or something? No, I bought a super shield. Super armor, you mean? Eh. That's a cyberspace program. God damn it. Sorry, gotta read. Reading the book explains the book, ma'am. Uh, uh, Didn't Levi. I have to take things off the building. Yes, there is. Ronan can absolutely attest there is a way. You just click on the item that you selected and it goes away. It didn't. Ronan will experience. We'll, we'll test that later to see if that's correct. Sure thing. Um, I will, I will submit the bug report. Uh, cool. Yeah, the right. Crusher passes its combat, uh, pass, passes its, uh, turn in the combat round. Rexy, uh, you used all your power actions hitting this thing. Is there anything else you want to do, or...? Um... She is, she is, she is considering the prospect of its demise. Give you a little bit of different music. Um... Okay, so I didn't say anything after the last hit. No. So instead, I'm just gonna roar in terror. Oh. Because I'm terrified that I'm gonna accidentally kill this thing. Use your. It's yes, use your single charisma action on Intimidate, which is a U plus 1d12 plus 1. It's not my fault, okay? I was built this way. I. Yeah, that's fairly intimidating. It actually kinda shifts back in a second in genuine alarm. To the point where it initiates one of its flight checks. <laughs> Help! <laughs> With a six, it will still maintain its flight, so it just shifts back slightly in terror. In terror, uh, you uh, perform. Like reaching out my tiny arms. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've performed all of your actions, so we pass to the next uh, 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 enemy in the combat round. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Gunvolt is coming at with a homing torpedo at your vehicle. <laughs> ah, it's nice knowing all of you. <laughs> that is a six to connect. That's we were just talking about reactions. Yes. <laughs> would uh, the would car you... like to evade? The car can evade. Say, would you say that's within 150 feet? Yes, it absolutely is. Wonderful. I have a military buster. Let's go! Oh. Okay! Yeah, I will take that long distance shot then. Uh, go ahead and roll your attack, please. This will, it will not evade upon this initial strike, by the way. Alright, it's uh, 8 to hit. 8 to hit is fine. Go ahead and roll damage. That is, unfortunately, a pot shot of shield energy. Uh, I do deal um, one point of shield energy against the car. Uh, if I deal any remaining life energy damage to it, that car will ignite. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have the gun vault move a few spaces further. And it's going to go ahead and fire against this other vehicle here. That is a 23 to hit. With homing torpedo. That is 13. That's what it could have done to you. Uh, Rook, you kind of look over away, seeing the gumball, like kind of step away. And it sh fires a barrage of torpedoes into this car right here which ignites and erupts in a fireball um oh, that fireball is going to do 
you plus 2d10, or it's not 2, it's not you, 2d10 plus 1. Uh, yeah, that's, um, oh, oh, that might have actually been kind of hilarious. Because that, both ends of those have already been, that's funny. Uh, oh, no. so you know how, uh, how, 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 that's basically like, that, that, that that's like a, that's, that, that is the one thing that is, this little thing right here is the one thing that is keeping this portion of the highway together. This car just caused that to snap. This portion of the map no longer exists. The crushers still are there. The gun vault is not. <laughs> it caused its own demise. You know, I normally don't do this, but uh, if anyone's out there. <laughs> Help? Okay, so you try and like go on like a, a, an open channel to ask for help. Yeah. Okay. Like, hi, anyone's uh, in the area? Um, yeah. Hi. Uh, please help. I've got a giant robot on top of my car, and another one just blew a print car up. Uh, yeah. Don't want to die today. Uh, your communications channel does get picked up by um. Uh, or like the open communications channel isn't identified immediately uh, until Mason Man, with his still maintained 12 sensory, because I'll still give it to you. Uh, you spotted the data pad earlier um, in like basically an inventory check. Uh, you identify a, an auditory signal coming from it, and uh, uh, out of curiosity, because you assume there is somebody who doesn't feel like dying, you open the channel. So, uh, yeah, Rook, you can speak to them. Hey, uh, I, I'm going to assume one of you uh, is the reason that gun bolt got shot. Uh, uh, not not to pressure you, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't feel like dying today. Please help. Civilian, uh, we're on our way. Um... Will pass to Loader Man. So the direct route in front of me is no longer a thing. The the direct route here is gone. The direct route there is also gone. This means I'm gonna have to make a jump, isn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you it this way on <laughs> It's time. No, you can't play jump and shoot, man, without jumping. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I came equipped with a master in climb jump. Sweet. What was your question? Sorry, Ronan. Uh, what that red box was. Oh, this this red box? Yeah. Um, that's... Is it something I could potentially land on? It's a building. However, that building is about 20 feet down. So if this goes wrong, it is something I could potentially land on. Yeah, it is also <laughs> something you poten can potentially fall through, so... That is fair. But you know, you know, do, do your best. Yeah. Uh, in this case, I will uh, lock into my second stat for mobility on this jump. All right. I believe in you. Nineteen <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, you you just kind of like, kind of like just like push your arms back and you kind of do just do like a just a leapfrog hop all the way over. With no with no trouble whatsoever. All right, uh, I'll use the rest of my move to get as close to the ledge as I can. I have a total f uh, movement of forty feet. You make it actually straight to the ledge, so uh, close to the I'll, ledge. I'll use my last power action to. Uh, let me double check here. Yeah, I'm not. I am not. Out of curiosity, can I get within five feet of that uh, crusher? E Technically, it's. If I'd not, say that's not, ten that's feet. That's ten feet, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just use my military buster. To... Okay. Do you have a license to retire? Yes, Rexy. 
yes, we would do is about a month ago. It was a dig site. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted by Rexy while saying this. <laughs> you shoot Rexy for a point, or well, however, for however much you roll, go ahead and roll damage. Oh, you yeah, shoot let's Rexy. Go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Rexy, your oh, life no. energy drops to zero. Ow. Well, alas, poor Rexy, I knew her. <laughs> Rexy's a man. Oh, well, alas, poor Rexy, I knew him. I knew him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, well, uh, you're, at z you're at negative two life energy at this point, which means you are considered incapacitated. It does not mean you are dead. Yes, you're incapacitated at this point. If you take the full negative value of your life energy, you will be dead. That is how that works. So, um, which so is... Demonic bringing up a good point. What, is, what just happened? Oh, Demonic brought up a good point, chat. With all this unwanted destruction, they had better not have destroyed the Jet Lag Cafe. <laughs> oh, man! I look forward to showcasing the Jet Lag Cafe in future, uh, future streams. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, that, there's your last power action. Uh, you did such a great job. So for those on uh, for those on comms, they they hear me talking to Rexy about that. A very pregnant pause is like, uh, do we have anyone who's good at repair here? <laughs> That's why I'm here. We we might need you over here for Rexy. I I see it. I'm coming. <laughs> Got to figure out how to get over there. Uh, uh, I'm doomed. Pa uh, passing priority at this point. Uh, we're technically, I think we're out of enemies that can do things. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go to X. Um, X says, I, I can give you a hand. Um, and, uh, not the beard, not the beard. He's, uh, he's gonna go ahead and perform a, oh. a power action to grab you. It's he's not trying to he's not trying to grapple you to do damage. Will you allow the grapple? Yes. Okay. Uh, you plus one d four plus three because he's got to have three. That is a fourteen grapple check. X can lift. <laughs> I am well held. <laughs> and he performs uh, a jump check to make his way across. Now, good old Mega Man X at milestone one. Um, oh, which he's a baby. yes, he is milestone one X at the start of his adventure. He has a mobility of one. Uh, it's funny. Oh, no. Um, uh, you know what? It's okay. He'll, that'll improve. That is, oh, yep. He is <laughs> jump and shoot, man. He hops with you over after grappling and holding you tightly. Oh, he so um gets you over there goes ahead and performs his mo standard movement, uh, uses his remaining uh, two uh, actions, first uh, or remaining two power actions, one to charge, and the other one to fire his X-Buster. Let's go ahead and take a look at the X-Buster, shall we? Because I have it here on the, on the thing. The X-Buster is an ambidextrous, ambidextrous buster weapon. Its attack die is U plus 1d6 plus power at a range of 150 feet. So its range currently right now is yes. Uh, range uh, U plus one d six. I was about to. That is a twenty nine to hit. The <laughs> boy. As he rolls one d six, only for nine points of uh, damage. However, because of shield energy, uh, it still doesn't get taken out completely. I am going to make it roll its last uh, mobility action to maintain flight, though. Um, U plus 1d8 plus 3. Uh, cool. It succeeds. Uh, it is still up. This sucker will not go down. Uh, yeah, it it by absolutely not. We ain't doing that. Not today. <laughs> uh, that is the first <laughs> combat round, and y'all... Uh, one of y'all are dead already, so that's great. Um, Would be spectacular, but... <laughs> Who would like to start? I'll go. <laughs> there are no death saves in 21XX, my dude. 
Oh, well, we may as well let Rook go again because, uh, like, you know, we need to know if we need to save two people. Yep. <laughs> Rook, right. you're gonna need to try and get out of that car, my guy. Yeah, can I kick the door open or like try and climb out or something? Give me a, give me a, give me. Now you have a, as a human, you have a basic power attack action. Do you have? Does your arms basically provide a ba like an upgraded power attack at all? Um, let me see. If That's not, you'll probably want to use your buster to break out the door. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna aim my buster and fire at the door. I think that's a solid choice. Go ahead and roll your attack die, please. Uh, it cannot evade, so as long as you succeed with a positive, you will likely roll damage. However, okay. should you roll poorly... Nah, that's fine. <laughs> that's an 18. That's fine. <laughs> roll a coaster. Go ahead and roll damage. 1d4 plus 3. Yeah, that's enough. You'll blow open the uh, the car door. Uh, it flies out and off the off the highway. Okay, I'm going to climb out. Okay. Five and feet to climb out. Okay, I think I've had enough of you. And I'm going to charge the buster. Okay. And I'm going to fire at this gunbolt because he has uh, committed the primal sin of living. I mean, fair enough. Uh, it can still evade since you chose to not hack off its evade, so it's going to do its best to do that. Uh, that is an 11 versus a 10. Yeah, you are one point uh, one point ahead. You succeed. Roll damage. Okay. That is 3d4. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, okay, so that Jesus is... Christ. I mean, again, that's only points against its shield energy, which you had already dealt two to it. Um, so you would think, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Gumbolts have a shield energy of six. Uh, it has one shield energy left. Fun um, fact, humans don't require a license to retire. Especially oh, in self-defense. You know, you don't need to be quoting the laws to us, Rexy. <laughs> oh, quoting in death! The ghost is just like, ah, see, this is acceptable. Ah, uh, yes, Rexy is the ghost nap of 21XX, understood. <laughs> um... Vegeta. Now I have a very important question. I can provide an answer to you. When it comes to hacking, am I allowed to? This is gonna sound horrible. Holy shit! Um, pardon my language. Uh, holy crud! Uh, if I use a hack, can I make someone do something that would, in turn, potentially cause them harm? Yes. While hacked, you are absolutely capable of doing that. So I think I know where your brain is already going it with this. Science, if, not magic. if you were to say use a jump check to force it to jump off the map, you could do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I think I think I'm gonna do that. All right, cool. Go ahead and uh, give me uh, your hack check is still maintained with a ten. Um, I don't think you need to roll for that. Um, I will go ahead and perform the action to you. You just basically take your hack from that. So. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's, 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 it's die is actually okay with this though, but it's, it's fine. It's about to, well, I mean, yeah, it, it, it jumps, it, 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 so it jumps know, off the map. You know, actually, could I, could I flavor this in a certain way? How would you like to? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to look at it and then I'm just going to look over at the crusher. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to jerk my head in that direction like okay have fun yeah, go meet your friend go meet your maker um what have different connotations in this universe John? just a little bit <laughs> uh yeah uh it also takes because of how that goes uh i've been wondering Making it a uh, hold on. Over I've been them. wondering what the hack check. I need to go back and see what. The, I'm wondering what the hack check. Could you make an opponent commit to uh, overloading their core? No. Uh, if you cannot, um, mechanically. Well, okay. That depends. There are certain weapons that would allow you to do something like that, like overloading with charge weapon actions for uh, power attacks with certain with certain weapons and certain cores. You could. Technically, that is correct. You could reduce their CT. That is a viable option, but not every core is capable of doing that. Um, if they're burned, it can still happen. Like, there there are ways you can reduce their CT level to a certain regard. 
it's it's something that it can be done. It just depends on what you have, what they have specifically parts wise. Um, I have to roll 44 as this guy hits the ground. Kinji knows he's had this happen to him once before. Um, and I lived. He did. Um, this one will not live. It explodes when it reaches the bottom. Uh, my last action, uh, I guess, will be to open my trunk and grab the break hammer. Okay. It's, it's a thick. It's a thick hammer. You got it. Uh, and hmm, I, I guess I should meet up with the crew. So I'm just gonna start walking in the direction of. I guess where I was you are carrying the comms to be from. To run. Don't you dare tell him he's over encumbered. This is the system for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah you're. Don't worry, I'm. I'm Dover King. I can just walk. <laughs> you're getting. <laughs> You're, you're, you're getting there. Um, okay. Uh, we will pass priority away from you to another enemy type. Uh, this crusher is going after X. And I'm going to go ahead and initiate another technique point for ground crusher. Which, uh, we've seen how, uh, how bad them hitting the ground has been. They literally ground crush. <laughs> 1d6 plus 4. That is a 10. X will attempt to evade. With his single evade check. Um, 1d4 plus 1. That is an 8. He will not succeed. He will take 1d6 plus 4. He'll take a, still based on how it is, he takes a point of shield energy. Um, a poor boy X. He's still fine, though. Um... Loader man, I'm coming after you with another attack. This time, uh, this time using the spike crusher that's on the crusher itself. Do you have any reactions? Uh, yes, I would like to use my serotanium loading arm. Oh, sounds fun. That is an 11 to hit on you. If anybody else is w wishes to react, they absolutely can. And I believe at the same time, while you're rolling your attack to do the thing, X is going to respond with an X-Buster shot. One lemon. 12 to hit. 11 to hit. 9 to hit. Or not 9 to hit. 33 to hit! That's a big lemon. <laughs> is that citrus? Because I'm allergic. Uh, okay, so we have to go in the order of how we're doing things. If nobody else has done any more reactions or anything like that, Mason Man, do you want to get on this action? I'm out. I, I don't have. We're at action. the start of a new combat round. I. Uh, no. Okay. I, I still, I have to. I have to do things. Okay. Could You're good. I, could I, I potentially react with uh, a hack? Uh, what not from good? this range. You are too far away. All right. Um. Good try, though. All right, 21XX, 1D8 plus 4 on Ronin, on uh, Loader Man. Loader, you'll take a point of shield energy. Uh, did the, that's, uh, I think that's actually the last point of shield energy on this Crusher. Yep, okay, so whatever X does at this point is damage. 1D6 plus 3. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Uh, rips clean through it. Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream work. Uh, that thing no longer has co has has a place in the combat round. Another player can go next. Mason man, I need to clear that next jump. Uh, <laughs> X looks over. Do you want me to throw you again? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it. Don't tell the elf. <laughs> I can't you have to toss me I mean if we'd like I with my serotonium loading arm <laughs> uh, I could potentially get you over there launch power of ye eight all right that's a jump check that is a mobility jump check ah uh, cool let me check the module and see if an eight is what you need uh a climber jump check of oh yes you're fine um it's five or higher so you're good it... ah. 
Uh, you make your way across to Rexy. Fantastic. I will deploy my lifesaver kit. <laughs> okay. All right. That will give you uh, some extra repair shenanigans. And I will use a repair action on Rexy. Sweet. All right. Looking at the good old lifesaver kit in the field equipment. Uh, light you have light oh you have the lifesaver kit, not the actuator. I have both. Oh you have both? Um Yes. I mean I'm only using the kit right now though. I no, haven't deployed yeah. the So it's gonna be one. you two, uh plus your uh skill, uh plus your analytics. Always with the band. Also, thanks for the huge turnout on Twitch and YouTube, by the way. Thanks very much, guys. Much appreciated. 16 is a successful check. Not only do you stabilize Rexy back, you also restore uh, 8 of her life energy. Him. Restore his. 8 of his life energy. But you had like 13, so... Uh, it takes a moment, but Rexy reactivates uh, after you close and kind of uh, solder their wound back. And uh, yeah, they wake up. Violations and ah, uh, what? What happened? Just so you know, that wiring inside is definitely not to code. What? No. Ah, it's ah. good to have you back. And I start walking towards the human Wait, with the rest of my movement. Code? Hold on, I was factory built. That's not my fault. You can't find <laughs> me for that. Um, I'll I'll give you a little bit of extra movement speed to get close to Rook if that's cool with you. That works for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, uh, Rook, you find what seems to be an older robot, uh, not the usual Reploid models that you've started to see. This one does carry the Maverick Hunter insignia on its shoulder, which, interesting news to you. Uh, uh but one thing that you've noticed anyway, to begin with, is all of the, uh, all of the, uh, all of the robots that have been causing havoc on this highway have the Hunter insignia on them. Rook is just hand is moving towards the brake hammer. You all right there? Uh, yeah. Um, you're, uh, you're not with, uh, well, I would motion, but, uh, the, uh, giant thing decided to, uh, take a leap of faith, let's say. Nah, we're just here to uh, make sure that the road is safe, but uh, I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, th things um, ain't exactly turning out well. Uh, do you do you hear some of those rotator blades still? Uh, I, I'm going. Because I'm looking I'm around and see the other crusher. Yeah. Uh. The. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple of other crushers over. Well, the, the crushers are still around here. They just don't have any road to crush right now. <laughs> They're a crusher without a road. That, I'm about. I was about to make an, another Dragon Ball reference. I'm sorry. Or a grill without a burger. <laughs> I think that one's contemplating its life choices, but uh, I've heard a couple of them. All right. Well, we should get you to. Uh... Get you to the end of the end of the road. Get you back to the checkpoint. Hey, uh, loader man, Rexy, X. Let's uh, mosey. No, well, I, uh, but I should well, probably uh... go in the back because if I'm not up to code, um, then I don't want to be around the human because what if I accidentally do something? We're here to help. Yep. No matter. We'll we'll keep you safe. Maybe, Both but, of you. But what if I'm the danger? Uh, if you want, uh, if you're, I've never really uh, done this with a, uh, you know, with one of yours, but uh, I could do a system diagnostic. Would that fix my wires? And I can see what exactly the problem is and uh, potentially. Uh, see if we can fix it. I could hack into your systems. That's what I could do. Yeah. <laughs> I could control I, I, you. I will literally go lay prone in front of you. Please, please help. 
All right, well, you're prone, but you're far away because you haven't been able to move. Would you like to perform, uh, yes, do your I turn and move? To this, to this human okay. Um, uh, I mean, I get... I, would this qualify I, as an upgrade or a hack interface? <laughs> uh, at this point, you can't do it anyway because you've already performed all your actions, haven't you? Ah, fair. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because I think I did the one... Oh, then you should technically have another one, yeah. That's, that's fair. Um, but... Before you do that, one, you're not in range, and two, I'm passing to another enemy. Oh, fair. Uh, Rexy has taken enough murder. I think it's time for, uh, for, uh, for Mason Man to have some, some damage. Don't hold back on my account. I've already... I mean, I didn't have to! Y'all killed each other! That, that was an accident! Ground Crusher! That is a 22 to hit Mason Man. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to evade <laughs> that. <laughs> Oof. I, I, sh should I react with hacking this thing? I don't know. Uh, well, um... Uh, nah. Thankfully, you uh, are able to... Uh, your massive body, body is able to, uh, like, cover or, like... Uh, you, you brace most of that attack. You take only a single point to your shield energy. Um, had it hit the ground next to you, it would have been a lot worse. Um, it then uh, is going to make an attempt at Rook. Not using the ground crusher this time. Just using its general spike crusher itself. Wait, I'm so confused. Yeah? This highway wasn't scheduled for demolition? Uh, no. Wait. Uh, do you have any shield energy, Rook? Uh, let me check. Because I believe I am wearing a Kevlar vest. All right, that Kevlar. Dang, you were you were ready. You were ready. But if this highway isn't so scheduled eight, for demolition. Stone shield energy. Yeah, that's nine. Eight. You take one point. Why are there crushers? Now, question: Is this physical? This is considered physical damage. Yes. The Kevlar vest says I reduce damage dealt to my shield energy by physical attacks by one. It does not deal damage to you. Its result is zero. Congratulations. I <laughs> just look at it like... Hey. hey do, <laughs> do, do, you, do you need to talk about it or something? Like, uh, you, you know, performance anxiety? You know, I get it. I get it. However... I don't think I can do what I was planning to do. No, I don't believe you can. Um, well, I mean, what, what, are you going to do like a hack check or something? No, I was going to take my uh, Serotanium Break Hammer, yell four, and swing it like a golf club. Nah, you're, uh, you've used all your power for that, so unfortunately you're going to have to wait. <laughs> uh, it's done all that it wants to do, though. It's going to pass along. Rexy, you wanted to go in that direction? Yes. But, but, but very confused. Because mm. why are there all of these wreckers if the highway is not set for the demolition and why are they attacking us if they're on our side uh the uh, x looks over and says they're not they've defected that's a lot of paperwork <laughs> tell that to the arcadian government i i think um i think their appointments are all booked up i don't think i'd get in uh but if you need me to i guess i could i is there anything you want to do during your turn? Lie prone in front of the human. You're going to pass after that? Oh, yes. It's very important that I get fixed. Oh, my gosh. All right. Passing all other uh, priority to the next target. Yeah, sure. He'll, he'll, he'll move in the, he'll try and get towards the... Uh, he's going to try and flank you guys by getting around this way. He passes after that. Uh, Loaderman, what do? Uh, try and clear the gap. Mind the gap! Alright. Give me that solid jump check. X is gonna have to wait a whole turn to catch up. <laughs> oh, I guess he could use power to technically do it if he wanted to. But I think he's out of that at this point. Uh, yes, you will succeed and make it across. All right, uh, I will use my last power action to attack the Crusher. Uh, this one right here? 
That is correct. Okay. That is a three. Uh, I am going to attempt to evade. You plus... Uh, an 11 will definitely evade that. It'll work, yeah. Whoosh! Shifts away from your attack. Um, uh, and I will save my last uh, mobility action, then. Okay. Uh, the last thing goes back to X. Uh, up, uh, you can't really get very far. Because he's already... I'm pretty sure he used... He only used one buster shot? Yeah, yeah. he only used one yeah. lemon. So he's I got mean, a... He rolled 33 with it, yeah. so, I mean... 1d8 plus 3. He can use power to jump. Ah, fools! <laughs> That does not beat the DC. Mm. Uh, oh boy. Did I Good just old. cause X to fall into a bottomless pit? I quite That's your choice, there for you. Uh, so actually, believe it or not, there um, in most cases, bottomless pits have a bottom within the 21XX hey, wait, what system. What if he catches that wire? Can he grapple? Oh. If somebody we, we have a somebody redeemed save my bacon. Oh, <laughs> yo! <laughs> saving what? X's bacon. An NPC? Thank you for saving X's bacon, Levi. Much appreciated. <laughs> uh, so that re that will roll will be redone. However, you only get one for that. That will succeed. Damn, chat doesn't want X to die. Much appreciated, guys. Did we break the uh, timeline again? No, uh... Timeline! <laughs> damn it, over three. <laughs> Alright, uh... Start of a new <laughs> combat round. Cooldown phase goes through. Y'all are at the start. Feel free to do what you want to do. Um, but I actually do have a, re a response to whatever role is done first, so... I'll go first because this this is very easy. So, uh, since I only have one power action, I'm going to charge my special weapon. Sure. And that uses my power action. That is correct. But now it is charge one. That's true. And when you use it on the following round, or if you continue to charge it every turn, you can build that up. Uh, now, yes. what what is your core, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, uh, sulfur. Okay, lithium sulfur. So that means uh. Any additional charges? Those are, this wouldn't. This would normally matter. Um, I, I don't. Uh, it, because of lithium sulfur, I believe any charge level that's done after charge level one does give take uh, do a core threshold on you. So just be, be aware of that. Uh, but you're mm -hmm. good at this point. So. And I'll take a couple steps forward to intervene between that char the the charger and. Uh, rook. Okay, so you're like trying to shift. I uh, got a wedge in between there. Yeah, I got you. Solid, solid call. Um, I think. Um, I can't respond to your standard movement. I can, however, respond to your, um, your attack action. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to bonk you with the, uh, with the crusher's spikes. Uh, that is a 10 to hit. Would you like to evade? Yes! All yes, right. I would. An that 8 will not succeed. Successful. I will roll a d8 plus 4. Thankfully, it's only impacting damage. So it's a point of shield energy, if, unless you are out of it. I don't know how much you have left. I have... At after that, I have three left. Okay, sweet. Um, I am going to react, have X react with a with a uh, a single charge, not uh not a uh, not an attack. He is going to react to the attack to the attack with a charge on his X Buster. Um, then priority passes back to you. Uh, and I pass. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Crusher's just gonna keep doing its thing. Uh, it's going this this time to go towards Rexy out of frustration. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we'll, uh, I'm rolling a 10 uh, on that. Do you want to evade? Metguard. That is, so it is not a ranged attack. Metguard will not work. Metguard will only work against ranged attacks specifically. Sorry. Okay. Well then, I guess I'm going to stand up, which inadvertently swings my tail. Wow, you just don't... It's, 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 it's all or nothing on power attacks. Uh, that's you plus 1d4 plus 3. That is a 20 to hit. I feel, mm. like I feel like you probably did. Uh, D8 plus four. This again. No. Well, spe no. Consider you don't have any shield energy. Hold on. Uh, the Crusher's attack is considered physical piercing damage. Yes, it it pierces through your life energy. You this go again. down again. You go down again for the second time. Oh God. Uh, I will say that you will still like kind of out of kind of out as a, as an accident as it were. Uh, y'all yeah, yeah. didn't want to save your bacon. Can I on land <laughs> Nobody likes Rexy. Can I land on top of it? Um, I mean, you do a point of shield energy and life energy to it. Wait, can you? Will you fall on top of it? Yeah. I'm large. Oh wow! I love it. Take a D four. One D four plus zero. Cool. Um, it is at this point, based on the amount of stuff that it has taken, uh, very low on shield energy. Uh, in response to your death, X is gonna charge again. Uh, now he's just gonna keep on keeping on in the direction of X. Um, I'll make him roll a flight check so he can maintain that. U plus one D eight. Plus three. Uh, that is an eight. Uh, he's going to try one more crush. X is going to take some damage, I imagine. Well, maybe not. Uh, X is going to file, uh, going to, in response, fire his X Buster. Charge level two. U plus 1d6 multiplied uh, by charge level two. Uh, multi uh, plus three. So the way charge levels work is charge level one is considered a times two multiplier. Charge level two is considered a times three multiplier, so on and so forth. Um, that is only a 12 to hit. Um, it's not dodging, so it is. they both are going to deal damage to each other. X will take... A lot. Hum... As that's piercing damage. They're going to both deal damage to each other. Oh. 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 X's charge shot rips through the Crusher, but only just barely as the Crusher's, um, basically, as he basically, sh he, he shoots the Crusher, right? And it's kind of like how it happens in, like, X1, where he fires the charge shot from the top of the Crusher as it, like, kind of splits into pieces, uh, and the, uh, the, the Spike Crusher kind of drops down. He shoots the head and disintegrates it. However, he doesn't pay attention to the fact that the Crusher is still very much going to be on top of him, and it strikes and breaks through his armor. Oof. He inc he is incapacitated from that attack. You cannot save your bacon twice. Um. You could have saved mine. <laughs> um. I'm out of die to help out. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, X is just incapacitated. He's not. He's not. He's not dead. Uh, just so you guys know, I. Uh, uh, firstly, you guys are doing just a wonderful job. <laughs> <laughs> like re really, my heroes. But uh, I, I think there's a a thing uh, near where my car is. Ah, man, I just paid that thing off, and these jerks crushed it. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little angry. Um, I think that at this point is everybody, uh, no, no, actually, no. no we have, we still have things. We have Loader Man. Mm -hmm. Loader Man, what do? There is one Crusher left. Uh, he will focus on the Crusher, then. Let's go! Uh, because I, I really don't want to try an untrained repair check on X. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> He's at a negative two right now. I mean, 
good news, it won't explode. Yeah, that's true. But at best, that's a six. Yeah. Which, I mean, it'll just stabilize them, technically. All right. Yeah. Um, we'll see how this attack goes first. Uh, just a standard lemon for eight. Um, I'll go ahead and you plus 1d4 plus three. With an old high rolls all around. Uh, that first shot misses. All right, uh, let's try it again for uh, my power actions. I think that's going to hit. That will succeed. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, this one hadn't taken damage before. No. No, because no, because uh, I tried to hit it with the missile. And yeah, the missile yeah. it missed. Yeah, uh, this is this is the first point of shield energy. It's taken. It's up. Well, um, just character also attempted hitting it. Uh, did. No, not this one. Not this one? Yeah, the one that was directly in front of you. No, this is not. This is the one that's over there on the other side. He was trying to come out to flank. Um, I think everybody has technically done things except for Rexy, who chose to not do things. I died! Oh, no, you died again! Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm slandering you in death. Um, Rexy, give, give us a flight <laughs> check on that. Uh... I just flipped the map. I was trying to flip Rexy. All right, there we go. Um... Top of the round! Oh, um, do I, do I not get a chance to... Oh, sorry, I didn't know if... I, I forgot you had other actions, I'm so sorry. I, I know, I've just been the powerhouse lately. It's true. <laughs> but I, I will uh, do my attempt to stabilize X. Alright, yeah, go ahead. That is... Best I could hope for. Yeah, that is literally the best. You put him back up at one life energy. Um, he is stabilized. Uh, you basically... Like, his, his armor's pretty out of like pretty bent out of shape uh but it looks like based on what was what was done what was basically dealt to him uh it was it surf, sur surface level circuitry i can solder and rewire this right here and he'll reactivate so so yeah you succeed um and he just wakes back up huh 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 Huh. Going dark. I don't like that. It's a scary feeling, yes. Yeah. <sighs> Never again. <sighs> yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, well, now I know what Rexy felt like. <coughs> uh, all right. <laughs> hey, look over. Rexy's down again. <laughs> yeah, you just try to turn back and you see that this dinosaur can't catch a break. I have an evil idea. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, because I think I still have one analytics action left. All right. What well, do you want? We're at the top of the round. No, if he had an action, he, he could have used yeah. it as a reaction. Oh, okay. So. So two things. Yeah. One, can I reach the charger with a hack? I mean, the crusher with a hack. Uh, at the range that it's at right now, no. Yeah. Okay. Good try. Uh. Well, I mean. I guess I'll just save my next question for the top of the round. Okay. All right. So we're 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 passing along then. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Uh, who would like to start? Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I I'd like to have us actually move on. So X in a bit of a fit of rage. Well, not exactly rage, but notable. Fl the rageiest of notable here. frustration that the Boy Scout feels. Charges twice, and fires. On the final crusher. With a 20 was, to hit. I was, I was going to laugh if that was a negative explosion. I was going to be sad if it was a negative explosion. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Versus a 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Charge 2 and fire with the X-Buster for 24. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, without question, that crusher is gone. Vaporized. Uh, yeah, I literally vaporized. <laughs> X is very upset that his speed run got interrupted by a crusher. Uh, X ain't no Caleb Hart, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so funny thing about the fact that we've only gone through what is effectively considered the first of three portions of the actual highway stage how highway stage module. Normally, I would have us go immediately to the B Blader fight, uh, but we had some shenanigans and some players went down. 
Um, let's go ahead and do repair checks and say for the moment that we are out of combat to give you guys a sense, a, a chance to, to heal back up. Uh, if y'all want to go grab that life energy capsule over there, that might be pretty good. Um, I'll head over to it. Okay, I'll just say grab it for the party. You, you, you've got it. It's, it's there with you for you with your inventory. Um, who would like to do some out of combat repair checks on our boys X and Rexy respectively? Uh, I will interface with Rexy to help alleviate their concerns. That is a negative. Oh no! Yeah. So Rexy was my first uh, attempt at repairs. A negative fourteen. What? A neg. You, out of curiosity, since we're out of combat, do you want to use the actuator first? I mean, I probably should. <laughs> Advantage is a good thing. Advantage is yeah. really good. Go ahead and make that second roll if you do, if you would, please. I will allow this, because otherwise you would have been in a lot of trouble. That much, much better. You uh, are restabilized at <laughs> six life energy. <laughs> If that had not happened, I would have made you beyond repair. <laughs> um, so, very, very, very successful. And this, this is why you pick up the lifesaver actuator. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh. To just... You wanted to interface with uh, Rexy? Yeah, and I forgot this little thing. Uh, I have Adaptive Fingers, the Techies Toolkit. Yep. Uh, which, for those curious, add an additional untrained eye to hack interface skill checks when attempting to use this toolkit in conjunction with a cyber rig, data pad, checking kit, or other computer. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So we've got a U2 on that. Damn, the band is here. A 13 to correctly connect to Rexy's systems. This is your first time accessing a Reploid system willingly. They basically let you... Oh, sorry. They're still technically a Reploid. Um, you, they basically let you bypass their security systems to access, because you said that you could help them. No, that tickles. Um, you, with... this, So you chose Interface. Um, you identify Rexy's actual proper designation... Which is uh, not listed. I don't know if you saw it on your character sheet. You are the first of. You are effectively. Well, initially was a uh, initially a prototype, but then eventually became the first of the Dino Rex model oh, of yeah, uh, of uh, of robots. So, folks who have played games like Mega Man X Five are probably familiar with the uh, uh, Analoid Burn Dino Rex. Uh, Rexy is Burn Dino Rex's uh, oldest cousin, I suppose. Um, <laughs> you are a prototype. Right, so, so I'm the T-Rex and they're the chickens. Your canon name, um, if I go back and look at it, I believe is Flail, Flail Dino Rex. Um, which is kind of cool. So you get a little bit of extra information. You get information on their, their construction date, which was roughly about six months ago. Um, kind of just, by, just older sensory information, which mostly includes both of their untimely deaths. Um, He's just a baby. And uh, then just, you know, uh, <laughs> if you're looking for compliance code information, you don't have access to any of that. You don't know how OSHA works. Um, <laughs> what the actual heck is an OSHA? Yeah, uh, but you like you like you check there like their systems are in relative disrepair. They're going to need to probably get several of their parts re realigned and refitted. Um, it, it's it's surprising that they're even able to function at all. What really bothers you, though, is how do those ears fit through those met those indestructible met helmets? Did they make a hole for it? Yes. I'm just... Well, okay. They're uh, not ears, they're horns. Oh, shit, ain't real. <laughs> no. Alright, so do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, bad, bad news. Yep, bad news. Okay. Uh, bad news, you're probably going to need a bit of a fixing. It's nothing too major, but some of your stuff is looking a little uh, worse for wear. Well, I mean, and I did also, just die twice, so that makes sense. That too. Also, the f your uh, your helmet 
is gonna keep me up at night <laughs> thinking because so uh thanks for the sleepless nights but aside from that uh flail dino rex you uh hey, sh 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 my name is rexy Aha. Uh -huh. Um, Rexy. Yeah. See, it says so right here on my butt. Zoom in. It does, in fact, say <laughs> T Rexy on her butt. Or, so, question. On his when, butt. When it Sorry. zooms in, does it play the Gutsman? Ah, yeah, oh, I gutsman. didn't put it on. <laughs> da da! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, I'm gonna need comments for later if y'all want to see uh, Rexy's butt uh, as an emote in the Control Alt Crit Discord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the legacy I choose to leave. Uh, I, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, Cobalt. Um, <laughs> X uh, does approach you, um, knowing that you're notably human, saying. And, I appreciate you carrying yourself through all of that, but it's not safe for humans. You've got to get out of here. Well, you kidding? It's not safe for anybody up here. I got shot. We both got shot. Well, you got stabbed. Shot? I pierced. Well. But it's still not safe for him. He can't stay here. No, oh, I'm not saying it is safe for him. I'm saying it's not safe for anybody. Well, I appreciate that, but a um, few things. One... I almost took out one of those uh, big blue uh, walking artillery platforms. I don't know the names. Um, uh, gun vaults, I think they're called. Yeah, that those uh, those Azure Strikers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I had to. I'm sorry. It was right there. As we get <laughs> dropped by NT Creates. Thank you very much, Demonic Bigfoot, for the tier one gift subs. Much appreciated. <laughs> Make it also a Twitch emote. We might do that. Give us enough Ooh. subs, we'll take care of it for y'all. Who? They decided to uh, damage my car, so, you know, I'm kind of a little angry about that. In three, well, uh, I've got a particular set of skills, and uh, who knows, maybe you'll need them. I. Hmm. Give me a persuade check. This time with advantage. So, here's the thing. Are you um, untrained in that? My, I am untrained in this. Oh, how unfortunate. You plus 1d uh, plus 2. Yay. So I got literally the worst one, uh and... <laughs> cool, okay, so I it's a 3 it. and a 3, and X yeah. is not convinced. I, I'm sorry, I... Part of our objective here is to make sure that you all get home safe. I can absolutely have somebody come and pick you up uh, nice. if you want to wait for hunter personnel, but you can't. You cannot move any further past here. Well, sir, uh, I really think that given the situation and not knowing how to yet identify our enemies, the safest place for... Uh, the soft one is uh, probably with us. I, I'm sorry, the soft one? I, I'm pushing. Yeah. The soft one. Can I see the bee later? Can I write sensory? You won't be able to see it because we are I was going to say how things were going to go for a second. Okay, well, but is there another enemy in vision range? There may be shortly at some point, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just asking because I'm going to scream and accidentally intimidate X. <laughs> I... No. You can just scream in general. Existential crisis, you go back through your footage that you've died twice. <laughs> so your scream is a roar. <laughs> That's the only way he can scream. Oh. Uh, he's a little bit surprised, but like not dissuade. But upon hearing what you have to say and then hearing that, X just kind of looks at you, Mason Man, and says... As long as we can keep him safe, that's fine. So I release my uh, charged weapon. Yeah. Uh, at Rook. Okay. Um, hey, hey, yo, what? <laughs> I believe your charged special weapon is called Rolling Rock, correct? That is correct. 
Uh, what does Rolling Rock do? I, if Oh, wait, I know what it does. It's a effectively a stone variation of Rolling Shield, isn't it? It is, very much so. All right, go ahead and roll, I believe, at my, uh, at Tier 2 with your as a Robot Master. Give me your, D, your utility die of D6 plus Milestone, please. I shoot my weapon. It's a protection weapon. Uh, congratulations, Rook. You have six extra shield energy on you. Ooh, Holy crud. So that puts me at, uh, 15. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you're not getting hit. A kind of a solidified, almost like translucent rock, almost crystalline formation envelops you. It doesn't give you the crystalline status. Don't worry. I'm not doing that to you. Uh, that'd be really funny, though. <laughs> um, but it just, you know, it almost spherical in nature, very much like Rex Rexy's flail tail, uh, but enveloping your entire body. X looks at that and says, uh, what was that for the rest of us? Yeah. <laughs> As need arises. He kind of, like, huffs at it and, uh, um, snags the life energy capsule that you guys had on the ground. That's a smart move. I am actually having him consume it right now. Sorry, guys. Because, <laughs> uh, he actually... X's, uh, highest stat is not his power. It's not his mobility. It's his lucidity stat. All right. Oh, actually, that should be just 2d4 plus 4. I rolled that incorrectly. So don't take the 1. He, he recovers 10 life energy back on his character. Um, Is the B-Blader going to be here? Normally, if we were running this game, uh, yes. But because the showcase um, is just to kind of show a sample of what's here, uh, we won't do that. We're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit and say that you guys do, in fact, make your way across halfway through a good majority of the stage. And you take out the legendary Bee Blader. It's not really legendary, but, you know, you, you, you take it out. You succeed as I throw everybody. Bug bumble. Yeah. Um, we're instead going to go to the last portion of the map today uh, because I figured this would be one we'd want to do. We want to end this session with a bang, right? Oh, hell yeah. Um, if you guys would like to experience uh, this game in its entirety, or like this session in its entirety, please join us as one of our uh, uh, public, uh, in, in our public games on the Control Alt Crit Discord, uh, where several people are going to be actually showcasing these missions. In fact, Autumn, I believe you're going to be playing Central Highway, which is pretty cool. Ta -da! So you guys will be get to experience this from her end. Um, who knows? Maybe she'll have Rexy as an NPC. That would be fun. Um, we're gonna give me a moment while I set things up and get you guys all where you need to be. Oh, we're on that side now. Uh, you guys eventually jumped across to other things, and this is the kind of the side where you actually need to go. Oops. Let's do some reading. Oh no. Overhead, De uh, Sigma's hunter flagship, the Death Rogamer, makes its appearance. Bracing yourselves for more reinforcements, you watch as the boarding ramp of the airship descends, and a towering figure toosh, leaps off. The, the sound of heavy machinery impacting the ground with a ground-shaking thump. A large black ride armor, an operated mecha vehicle, begins to move forward. Um, in its pilot seat is a reploid with a dark purple sheen and a covered T-shaped visor, making, making it impossible to see his face underneath it. On his shoulder, a front-runner buster cannon begins to whir and rotate slightly. Oh my god, what if he doesn't have a face under there? Um, here's the funny thing. Mechanically, in the 21XX system, it goes player, enemy, that was player. A huh? I know you said that. Sorry. What? what? Was that in character? No, that was in character. Oh, what'd you say? Sorry. What if he doesn't have a face under there? <laughs> I, I mean, he might not. But that's so creepy. Mechanically, in 21XX, it has to go player, enemy, player, enemy, player, enemy. Almost as if shaken from this, X starts the, the combat rounds. And then passes priority. 
Vile will begin by dashing immediately forward. I react to dash. You you have a dash as well? No, I react to his dash. You react to his dash? How are you reacting? No, no, I just stride forward towards him. Oh, excuse me, sir! Sir! Unfortunately, you cannot use standard movement as a reaction. Okay. You yeah. can do things like jump checks. Or okay, I'll bunny hop to him. You're going to bunny hop to him? Sure. All right, reaction jump check. Uh, what's your jump? I, I stubbed my toe, so is attempting you, to move. You have you are untrained in climb jump. Yeah. You. Why would, why would a T-Rex have a climb jump? Why wouldn't you have a climb jump? A seven's good enough. Eh. Boing, boing, eh. Boing, 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 boing. Eh. Eh. Excuse okay. me, sir. Excuse me. Hi. I will get up in his face. You will get up in his face. Yeah. So almost to just get get to to pro effectively you're it's to protect X but you're a bumbling oh bumble. no absolutely not to protect X I'm oh. asking this man for help you're asking him for help yes excuse me sir we've been attacked a lot and um we're in pain and not really feeling so great could you could shut you up and he goes ahead and wails on you with his ride armor well that's rude I think he I swear if I actually kill you with this <laughs> I swear if I kill you with this <laughs> I can't believe Rex is going to die for the third time. <laughs> I'm losing to a rug. <laughs> Did you just make a Rondi Dangerfield joke? No! That's Aladdin! I know what it is. <laughs> but he... Robin Williams is quoting and... Oh, never mind. I know, but... It's, it's, it's still... What's a Rodney Dangerfield? The only Rodney I know is allergic to citrus. <sighs> Read a book. Actually, watch a movie. Give me a second, guys. I need the power on this uh, this right armor, and Autumn has caused me emotional damage. <laughs> um, emotional damage. Okay, it is a power of four. I am correct. 1d8 plus four. I almost put 1d8 plus five. That would have been funny. Uh, that is a, that is an eight to hit. Um, would you like to use one of your three mobility, one of your two remaining mobility actions to dodge? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're actually dodging this time. That is a four. It will not... It will not succeed. Damage is rolled. How much did you get healed for originally? Six. You see how much damage that is? Looks like six to me, Sean. You... Did you have any shield energy left? No. Oh! I believe you're down again. Motherfucker. Sorry. Um, yeah, the force of that punch will knock you back. Oh, uh, even made made the whole map shake <laughs> as Rexy falls back and uh, is knocked out. This dinosaur cannot succeed. Um, the dinosaur's going extinct. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say with that attack that it actually kind of wake, awakens X from his stupor. Um, and he attempts to... Fire on Vile with a Buster Shot. Just a regular ass lemon? Just one lemon. Oh, baby. That is a 10 to hit. Vile chooses to not evade. Oh, my sweet summer child. And takes takes the lemon. And cackles. <laughs> oh, why, X, aren't you a pitiful sight? Yeah. Oh. Um... Like, X kind of basically just kind of grinds his teeth in frustration. Vile. I should have known that you'd have gone Maverick. <laughs> Naturally. There's fewer strings attached. And it's way better. Hey, why don't you give it a try? Purge a little. Don't you screw with me. And, uh, Vile responds with another punch. That was a one. Well... X be able to successfully dodge on that. Negative explosion. Um. Plus 1d4 plus 1. No, he succeeds. He kind of hops over and says, Why has Sigma done all this? <laughs> you can figure it out for yourself, small fry. Get your ass back here. So Vile's allowed to test? Yes, he is. It's Vile. And X cannot dodge, but he still hits with a one. That is a point of shield energy, because X does still have shields left, technically. So, um, he kind of, like, 
buckles and like kind of tries to to keep himself from getting fully knocked by that. Um, that is three out of four actions uh, for power. Uh, and Vile is going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> cackle and pass priority anyway. Anyone can go next from here. I'm not going to have it be X right now. <laughs> Would you all be cool if I went? Actually, I think uh, Loader Man might be able to get a handle on uh, nah. on that. Yeah, you know, I, I like the way you phrase things. Uh, if we wouldn't mind. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I will start off by using a power action to activate Super Arm. Oh, that was the special weapon you chose. Yes, it was. Oh, no! <laughs> Can you please um, explain Super Arm for those uh, who those who have not experienced this before? Yes. Um, uh, first, let me roll my utility die. Okay. Uh, because this does matter. Uh, for the next two, two, three, okay. three combat rounds, I may only perform power actions using Super Arm. Okay. Can't lock into any other stat until Super Arm ends during the final cooldown phase. <laughs> uh, each roll will consume weapon energy. Okay. Uh, upon initiating it, I generate a size 4 stone block, which I can throw at enemies within range. And I can also get advantage on grapple break checks against targets of a larger size on the size table than me. What if I this? successfully grapple them, I can perform a bonus power reaction to throw them. Size 4, you say? Size 4, I say. Alright, well, there you go. There's your big block. Um, can I have it generate right behind me? Because my plan is to just try and straight up grapple him. Oh, okay. So, you just generate, you're not going to throw it? I gotcha. Yeah, because uh, I only have the two power actions. So, oh. one to activate this, and uh, let's try and grapple... A full right armor. I will allow it. Yes, please go ahead and roll your grapple skill check. I will use that other power action to attempt to break because I had a feeling with a bunch of guys that can lift, this was going to take place. Uh, I mean, I'm happy that I have advantage on this. You plus one d six. You know what? Right? That is a ten. Jesus. Um. Yes! The, adv the advantage is a two, so yeah, you you got there. Ooh! <laughs> you attempt to lift him with super arm, and, um, you know, if it was a standard, like, a, a civil engineering model, you might have been able to have the snuff to be able to do it on, it on that first lift, but there's something about these military models that just have a little bit of extra oomph to them. Uh, upon you attempting to, uh, upon you attempting to raise him, he basically slams down on, like, sl slams your, your arm, like, onto the ground with that and shifts away from you. Uh, I, I cannot lock into any other stat until Super Arm ends in three turns, so that's me. Yaha! Well... I can't even evade. Um, which is great. Uh, priority passes. However, uh, if we were, if we were in a combat round, things would be a little bit different. We initiate, I, I didn't mention it originally, and my apologies, I got really excited into this. We actually initiated a boss encounter. And in boss encounters, they are able to effectively perform actions, uh, they regain their spent actions and reactions uh, after a player has passed in the combat round. So, Vile effectively regains all those extra four power actions he had. Um, he doesn't re, like, gain more... Uh, other actions for other stats that doesn't work that way. He has to spend them to be able to regain them, um, as it were. So, uh, I am going to go ahead and whack you for a D8 plus 4. And you're just going to be taking it. Yep. That is um, one shield energy, I believe. How much you got left? I have four shield energy left. You're about to... That... Mm, wait, mm. sorry. That was an accident. That should have been... That's that's incorrect. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> you, you know what? It's fine. It's a, a twenty to hit and twenty, uh, twenty-two physical impacting with two points of shield energy, uh, or no, three points of shield energy at that point. 
Uh, and the attack is free, so he does it again. Can I react? Yes, you can! Uh, cool. Um, I think to try and distract him, and shot. This is one of the reasons I had asked this question a while back. Yeah. Uh, I would like to try and utilize Met Miner on Vile. Can you... Can we, let's go ahead and read that cyberspace program together, because it is considered a cyberspace program. It is. Uh, um, where is the field? Oh, wait, no, it's literally my character sheet. Why am I doing it? So, um... Uh, I feel like at this point, what Rook is basically doing is, oh, these guys got a handle, and you just go on your phone. <laughs> yeah. Um, because oh. this this can only be performed in cyberspace. So, what it is going to affect is things that are going on within cyberspace themselves, or with itself. It can't... Depending on what you get out of this, you might have something. I need you to go ahead and roll a d6 on the utility die, right now. Okay, 21... Um, how do I do this? It's gonna be 1d6 plus 0. Not 1, not 1, not 1, not 1. That's a 3. That if a 3 is rolled on Met, Met Miner, uh, your search has not been fruitful, and you gain no benefit. Damn. Oops. You, uh, I hope you, I don't know if you had more of those or not, but you're a um, cyberspace hacker, so you can use it again. <laughs> very true. Um, good to know. Uh... All right, so you've taken four points of shield energy, uh, Ronan. I'm, uh, I'm double checking. This is impacting, correct? Yes, this is physical impacting. Uh, thanks to my military grade Ceritanium armor, I chose impacting. I get to reduce the damage dealt to shield energy by one with that. So I'm technically still at three. All right, cool, neat. Um, time to try and get you again then. Um. I promise I'm not trying to murder everyone, yeah. but I'm... You're lying. <laughs> cool, that's not going to do anything to you. He realizes that your armor like is... Three deaths would beg to differ. He realizes that your armor is actually quite thick. And he says... Oh, wait. Oh, say what? Oh, no, uh, I just looked at Met Miner, and I'm starting to wonder if I was even able to do that, because it's a full round of city. I mean... You could have... That's all you've got at that point. <laughs> oh, um, it does say action rather than reaction. So, yeah, we will basically say that you had performed it and you had used your action for the turn. Um, X is going to go ahead and, um, in response to the last few hits that you've been taking, uh, he's going to go ahead and charge. Uh, and then as Vile passes along, um, I'll go ahead and send priority to the next player. Uh, Mason Man or Rook? Well, Rook, you've already done your thing, I think we'll effectively say there. Uh, so, Mason Man, would you want to go ahead and go? Uh, yes. So, uh, right there behind that block, uh, I want to deploy the, uh, the Lifesaver Actuator. Okay, you drop it down. And then, uh, I need to go and tend to Rexy. Uh, yes. I'll move you slightly off in that direction. Go ahead and give me a, re a repair check, please. Right. I'll, I'll, oh, move, no, no, no. I'll move Rexy closer to the map for you. All right, let's 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 hope this goes better this than is, last time. I was gonna say, you have advantage. You have advantage. I have advantage. Eleven. Uh, okay, so it's. Uh, I believe it's rounded down. Down, so it'd be five. Yeah, so regain, you stabilize and regain to five life energy. You have been resurrected a third time. Hey, uh, I think that's a bad guy. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, like, I, I'm i really sure the Maverick Hunters are going to have to uh, send you a bill at some point for all this rebuilding we're doing. You can just give us a discount on your next invoice. Well, I, I guess. Uh, don't touch my foreman, though. I, I, I contract out to the city. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's my... That is my two... Uh, yep, that would be those two... two yep. 
And then uh, for uh, my last thing, I am going to charge my buster. Yep. Uh, which is your single uh, action from there. Uh, yep. Uh, cool. Uh, Vile's weight is technically just, or like, he's large enough that he can kind of be on the edge of here and still be able to wail at X. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and punch X repeatedly. That is, uh, yep, yep, okay, that's damage. Shield energy damage, but still damage. X is going to then, um, because he shot one lemon before and he charged earlier, he is now going to go ahead and fire his X Buster at charge level 1. U plus 1d6. 1d6. Uh, asterisk 1 plus 3. That is a 15 to hit. Vile again chooses to not dodge. Can I react and flank him? You are. You got punched away earlier. So, can you flank him? Yeah. Do you want to jump back over there again? Uh, dash. You'll... You keep saying dash. You don't have dash. What, what the, I'll, I'll T-Rex equivalent of dash. You'll... Run? Okay. <laughs> you can... Bunny hop. When it gets you... I mean, when it, you can perform standard movement during your turn. Otherwise, you have to perform movement-based skills such as climb, jump, uh, flight, or things of that nature. Oh, uh, I see. So bunny hopping is the only way. Yeah, bunny hopping at this point for you being the T-Rex the that you are is the only way. You also have Tunneler, but I wouldn't recommend it because you would dig through the highway. No. No. <laughs> I see what you're doing. No. <laughs> Um, okay, well, at this point, X fires his shot, which does just a tiny, like, a, a, effectively a tink. He fires a charge shot at the right armor, and it does nothing but shield energy damage. Uh, and, uh, and Vile goes, what's the matter, X? You can't even land a single hit on my right armor? Which he rolls as an intimidation check on him. Uh, 1d10. And he's gonna do it within his power, actually. Wow. Mm. Uh, yeah. X is rightfully intimidated. Damn it. Either you get destroyed or my arm is gonna go down trying. <laughs> you sure like pitching a fit, don't you, kid? <laughs> I think it's about time I shut you up for good. Uh, and priority will pass to you, Rexy. Are you going to act like I'm running away? Uh. Behind him. Behind him. But behind, so running. Ah, okay. I notice how he's on the edge of that little crack there. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to tunnel around him so that that whole piece falls. Okay, you are initiating the tunneler technique at one technique point. You need to make a power action utilizing your um using your arms. So, using your claws, it's going to be <laughs> U plus one d eight plus your power, which is three. Uh -huh. Um, if you ab if you are able to succeed a certain threshold, you will break through and you will tunnel you will tunnel through equal to half your standard movement speed through the object or through the obstruction. Well, the obstruction's not that thick. Yeah. So the point is. It's to go... I mean it's solid concrete, so. Yes, but the, but the point isn't to go down so much as to weaken to the side. Now here's the thing, because this has been a question that people have asked me, and. I will leave this up to chat because this technically, it is considered a technique, but it's like kind of like a mobility based technique like flight is, um, or like kind of a movement based technique such as flight. Because you are using your claws in this way, and your claws say that you get a benefit when you perform melee uh, based techniques, would we consider it that in this case? This is a, this is a testing question. How does the how how does our party feel about that? I feel like it's I have put, I have put this stupid dinosaur back together three times. <laughs> and if she goes through that if he goes through that highway, I'm not going down there to pick it up. I mean that's fair. 
Uh, it is considered a power attack action, and by the way the Ceratanium Claws are written, I want to make sure that this works in the way it should. You know, I wrote the damn system. You think I would pay attention to that, right? Uh, Ceratanium Claws say, add uh, slashing... It is not. Con- it is considered slashing damage because you are slashing through with your tunneler. Yes. Uh, slashing damage techniques performed by the Ceratanium un- uh, Claws add an additional untrained die. It says to the damage die. I will say because of how you're doing it, you're 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 effectively tunneling using the attack die. Environmental. Yeah, you're doing it to the. It, it's effectively. So we're rolling the thing. Um. Okay. Hydrate has been re- has been redeemed in chat. I will need to get a drink to hydrate. With a thirteen, I will say you beat the DC of the static bridge. Of the okay. static bridge, yes. <laughs> it still needs a difficulty check to go under. Moving at half your half your standard movement I don't, speed. I don't want to go all the way through. You don't want to go all the way through? No. I want to weaken. So you just want to weaken it and then kind of move back around? I so you're Oh you're you're tunneling like just underneath cable. them. Ah, okay. So that it's smashed and snacks in half, but I don't go down with it. And by the way of your Ceratanium uh tail flail, you have advantage on attack dies against objects and obstructions. You are concluding the floor as Yep, okay. I see what you're doing. Um Go ahead. We'll go ahead and perform that. Yeah. You plus one D four plus three. You have advantage on this. That's a twenty-two. <laughs> That's a twenty-two to hit. It's not like it, it's 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 fine. Like uh, I mean, a six is a out of what you have originally done with the with everything before. It is significant. However, jump check. Oh, <laughs> to get away. Yeah. So it is falling. Jump check. So it's falling. Mm. Jump check. And he's falling. Jump with check. It. Jump check. Jump, jump, jump check. He jumps. Jump check. Mother. I'm gonna turn you made, around. You made a hole. I have one. You have one action left. left. <laughs> it's time to go down the hole. Are you gonna hit him? Yeah. You're gonna I'm tail gonna hit turn him. Turn around. All right. You plus one d four plus three. <laughs> His right armor is an object. His no. His right armor is considered a vehicle statistically or mechanically in the objects. system. I, they have, uh, that, that's fair. They have an object size. I'll give it to you. I will give it to you. Uh, oh. No, I thought I had, I had advantage, so I Advantage had... on the damage die. Oh, on the damage yeah. die. Yeah, uh, which again is just a point of shield energy, but because of the way your flail works, he does take a point of life energy as well. So, ah, oh that is the God. first Wait, actual no. hit he's taken. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, no. Oh, I'm not sorry. You're mean. And you're violating a lot of violations. Do you have any other things you can do for the remainder of this act? I don't... I, I can't believe I did believe movement that, and or... I did power. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, but you didn't do a second stat. Do you want to lock into anything else? Is that mobility and power too? No, you use, you use standard movement. You didn't use mobility. Oh, oh. I was paying attention. Ah, so then I can intimidate. Yes, you can with your I have single. Have advantage on intimidation. No. I have disadvantage on intimidation. You have just intimidation. No, I have disadvantage because of my voice. Oh God! What voice did you pick? A jump. Why didn't you tell me that? Yeah, you do have disadvantage, <laughs> which means that thirty-one isn't happening. It's a ten. Which will not succeed on Vile's DC. Would the thirty-one have succeeded? No. Yes, the thirty-one would have su- oh, would have God, actually why did I succeeded. Say I you you <laughs> in your hubris, Vile grabs you That's by your tail. Of hubris. In your hubris, grabs Vile grabs you with a grapple check by your tail, and you can't. Well, you can't evade it. Don't touch that. That's private property. That is a twelve to grapple you, and he throws you off the map. <laughs> Did he swing me around like a friggin' <laughs> What are those things called? Bola? <laughs> With 20 damage dealt to your life energy. <laughs> Finally, after all this time, Rexy dies. So long, game back. After. <laughs> hey, but I scored a hit! You did! You did <laughs> successfully score a hit! 
put that portion they now have to jump over. <laughs> Goodbye, oh, Rexy. Goodbye, yeah. Rexy. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Wow. Okay. Rexy had the time of his short, short life. Priority passes back to the top of a new combat round. It's like nothing ever happened. Yup, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Permit. Permission to go first, if anyone's okay with that? I mean, you didn't get a chance to really do what you wanted to last time, so I think that's fine. Is everyone else okay with that? Yep. Yeah. Alright. I think I see this, and I decide, in what is probably the dumbest choice, to pull out the Ceritanium Brake Hammer and charge it vile. What and idea? I am going... It, it might actually be. Uh, the ghost Rexy approves. Thank you, Rexy. Your builders understand what they need to adjust when they build Burn Dino Rex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, attack one? Yep, yeah, attack one. That is an 11 to hit. That is a big hammer. Vile is surprised. He is going to attempt to evade that. I would hope so, especially what happens if it hits. Yep. Yeah. That is an 11. Attacker gets it. Generally, oh, oh. if a roll is done in 21XX that ties and it, you have the priority during a combat round, you are the one that succeeds on that roll. Uh, there are ways in the system where the attacker gets it rule doesn't always apply. We just haven't experienced it post-foundation guide yet. Um, some people in the uh, Mega Man X6 campaign have dealt with it, unfortunately. <laughs> And a, a little thing for those curious about the, why I picked the break hammer. Um, if an attack with the break hammer would do shield energy damage, the total amount of damage done is equal to half of the result of the rolled damage die. Yep. Now, the, this is actually one of the most devastating weapons when it comes to eating up shields. I gotta find where it actually is in the, in the thing. It's an impacting weapon, right? Yep. Break hammer, there we go. Uh, roll your D8 plus power, please. Oh, oh you already did. Nine! Oh my god. Wow, yeah. Half the results, so I would round that down to four. Um, that's still a significant hit. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, grapple. Oh no, I, mean, I just lived through- oh no, I didn't live through this. This just happened to me. <laughs> 16 uh, grapple check. Uh, that's in response to your, um, to your, your- I know you were about to do an- I think you were about to do another attack. I was. Yeah, go ahead and- alright, go ahead and roll that attack. Um, so that attack will still do damage, so you can go ahead and roll that. Uh, just double checking, it is indeed a 1 Yep. Yeah. Oh, did so you roll the hit? Nine. I didn't see you yep. roll to hit. No, that's Oh, that's nine remember. to hit? Yeah, that succeeds. Go ahead and roll damage. I really need this to crit. No, nope. I'm gonna say that is about two. I will round that down to two. I'm down for that. Um and uh yeah, no, he grapples you. Um okay. you if you, at this point, because you are grappled, attacks that you make, uh, any actions that you make at this point are at disadvantage. Uh, you cannot move. You cannot perform special weapons or techniques while you are grappled. So, what do you want to do? I, you know what? Uh, can I hack the ride armor? Um, while grappled. Uh, I don't think you would have disadvantage on that. Uh, you're in touch range. Nice. In response to that hack, though, Vile throws you off the edge. I mean, he I says was he's not trying to kill us all. Go ahead and roll your hack check, but I will also be doing a... a uh, effectively, I, I'm just doing a, throw, a power action to throw you. So... A 10? Yep. Does not break his hack, DC. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fred. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Um, you... Throw you get thrown off the edge and take 44 impacting damage on the way down. 
as you fall down 40 feet to the ground below. That is impacting damage. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, you affect, you had a, your flak jacket, right? Uh, I had my Kevlar jacket, and I also had the little uh, shield rock. Yeah, cool. All the shield energy from that saves you from that fall. But you are 40 feet below, from, uh, below the rest of the party. At all intents and purposes, at this point, you will be unable to make it back up unless someone can get to you. I'm okay. Uh, Mason, man, you kind of see on the way down that the sto uh, your your rolling rock kept him alive. I think if anyone asks, all they just got here is. <laughs> Sorry, SpongeBob is on the brain. Um. Uh, priority will pass to Vile, who will finally perform electroshock bullet on X. Twenty-one XX operators know what happened at this. I w I actually knew the page. I knew the page. It's page two thirty-four. I I am I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. You big nerd. Um, that is, yeah. Um, X will attempt to evade. I guess. X in response. Yeah. In response, I yep. will fire my charged weapon. What do, at X. What do? Uh, uh roll it to uh, to shield him. Oh yeah, it's true. Um, okay, it, it's a shield battery actuator, correct? That just drops next to him. Well, no, no, it's my it's my weapon skill. Oh, I you you oh okay. I thought you were using your guard buster. I understand. Okay, so you are using your so go ahead and roll the shield energy then, please. I mean, that is a lot of extra shields. That will definitely save him. Uh, however, <laughs> the one benefit about the Electroshock Bullet is that shield energy is what it's supposed to target. Electroshock Bullet can uh, Electroshock Bullet can only damage shield energy. Any life energy damage that will be dealt by, electro by the Electroshock Bullet is reduced to zero. Um, uh, so, at this point... Um, it just effectively does shield energy. Enemy targets dealt shield energy damage by the electroshock bullet cannot move their standard movement speed and gain the stun status effect until the cooldown phase. X is currently on his knees. Um, looking up at Vile. Um, Vile then moves to X. I think he... He did two. He did two actions, one to do, one to throw, one to electroshock bullet. Yeah, this is the final one. This is the grapple. Doesn't he have to release? The he already yeah. threw the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got yeeted. I, I know the feeling. Um, with a ten grapple check, X can still technically evade it. Um, if he succeeds, attacker gets it. Attacker gets it. Once Vile shocks him with the electroshock bullet, he moves forward and grapples him, gripping him with his left arm. Does anybody want to say the line? That's not me. I don't remember the line. X? You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you really think you could beat me? Yes. <laughs> Silence fills the air for a moment. And uh, a full round called shot power attack action is rolled at charge level two. Red boy. <laughs> Let me go ahead and roll this military buster attack. He was fixing his hair. That is a 19 to hit. Vile doesn't see it coming. For 49 damage? No. Nice. Jesus. He doesn't see it coming or going. Um. Um. 
It blew his arm off. It blew more than just his arm off. That was a called shot to the... Hold on, 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 hold on. We're holding. Is the right armor gone? The right armor is gone. <laughs> um... <laughs> Vile jumps out in the nick of time uh. as the right armor is destroyed and out dashing in gra uh, like just immediately into the area is Commander Zero. Oh boy. Um All right. He looks down at X upon seeing that he's not doing so well. X, are you alright? Vile actually, like, looks back at surprise and says, uh, oh, well, it looks like the real cavalry has arrived. Has arrived. Why don't, see, why don't we see if you can take me on for real without another cheap shot? Um, and, uh, and Zero looks at everyone else. All hands. Target Vile. Now. Um, and, uh, We'll go ahead and actually pass to start of a new combat round, just because I think it'd be funny. Y'all get one chance to completely decimate Vile. I know what Zero should say. I only have cheap shots, because the hunters can't afford the expensive stuff. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> um, uh, who would... This is your last uh, round of power arm, or super arm. That, that is true. This is my last round of it. Let's go. Get him. All right, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw the block at him. Yeah, let's go. Throw the block at him. That is a four. <laughs> um, you know what, yeah. Miles out of the right armor. I think it's time he actually dodged. That is a seven. Does he get advantage for throwing the block? I don't know how super. No, uh, I, I'm looking at it right now. I do not get advantage for throwing the block. Aren't you a robot master? Correct. That should be a d6 then and a d4. Correct. Yeah, go ahead and re-roll that, please. This was something that we accidentally... That, that, that succeeds! <laughs> go ahead and roll damage! Okay. That is a free hit, by the way. Uh, it does uh, destroy the block. Yes, the block is gone. But that just uh, frees me up for actually going over there and trying to grapple him again. All right, go ahead. Give me a grapple check with your super arm, which you have uh, advantage of. Yep. Uh, I will roll break. Uh, I got a nine. Uh... Attacker gets it. Attacker gets uh, it. Attacker gets it. <laughs> Bonus power reaction to throw him off the edge of the highway. <laughs> Retribution! He, he's, been, he's been doing it. I, can I actually aim for Rexy? Retribution! <laughs> can you aim towards, like, towards, like, Rexy's remains? I suppose. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll say you can maneuver and do it. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, targets that hit the ground. Uh, target that's hit the ground uh, with this throw are dealt an additional 1d4 stone impacting damage. Oh my so god. So 5d4 technically? Yeah, that's, well, it's 4d4 and then the extra well, 1d4 is the stone, because the 4d4 is just physical. Yeah. Um, uh, good news is the dice bot can actually handle that. Uh, how do I do that then? Uh, it, should, it should ideally be 4d4 plus 1d4 plus 0. Okay. What yes. Zero have to do with this? Uh, that's not a great roll. No. Um... But I'm 90% sure all of his shield energy is gone. Let me double check. Hey, can I do the thing? <laughs> no, actually, his shield energy is. He still has. He still has shield energy left. Uh, and just out of curiosity, how close is Rexy's and now uh, Vile to uh, Rook? Uh, ro uh, Rook was roughly 10 feet away from where Vile dropped. Yes, Rook. Now you can do the thing. Lined him up for you. Hmm. Do I hear the hammer? Or do I? 
I'm going to say that, that is all I can do because uh, this is the last round I am locked into just doing power. Yeah. So I will have to pass. Okay. Question. Well, then if you have to pass, Vile still exists. Mm -hmm. Do I kill the human or do I flee? Roll for it. He's pissed. Vile is tunnel visioning right now at this point. Uh, you know what? Because why the hell not? I'm just going to do the like bring it on gesture. Oh. Because I am. <laughs> you are dead now. You know what? You have Round signed two. your own death certificate. I mean, technically you can't perform it as an action, but yeah, no, I'd say thematically, like, Vile looks up at you, sees that, and you see a glowing red eye emanate from his, uh, from his T-visor. And, uh, he charges at you with his, uh, well, he charges his, uh, his front runner buster cannon. Two levels. And fires. Uh, in response to both of his charges, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to drop the, the hammer. Yeah. Shift my arm to the civic buster. Charge once and then fire. Cool. Um... Down, I'm down for it. Let's roll it at the same time. See what happens. Okay. So it's 3d4 plus you, and then it's 1d8 multiplied by 3 plus 3 for me. That's a 7. The roller coaster is hit. Versus a 54. Mm. Okay. I need, I need uh, these uh, tears. <laughs> I need these tears. They do not. All right. That is... Um, Okay, so it, the good news for you, the um, uh, this particular weapon, the uh, hardpoint buster cannon, does impacting rather than piercing. So at this point, it's just extra shield energy being dealt to you, but it hurts. Uh, that being said, you do you actually do take vile shield shield energy down to zero. Um, he realizing that he's in a bit of a dangerous situation is going to perform a stealth a stealth skill check. Everybody before we end today's session needs to be able to exceed the exceed his stealth roll or he will vanish from combat. Me Yes. Really? Well, you're dead, yeah. so. <laughs> now, 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 you say everybody. What if one of us physically can't do that? Oh, well, then you can, so. Okay. Um, that being said, here's the funny thing about Vile. File is not a stealth man. I, I mean, I have a, I am proficient in sensory. I, 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 I rolled a six. If you can beat a six, congratulations, everyone beat a six. You do not watch Vile get away. In fact, Vile is very easily just like can be seen like just kind of making his way towards like the pillar underneath you guys. Uh, Mason, man, you see him almost immediately. Um, you, you've seen this tactic before. <laughs> you know, uh, it's dangerous down there, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> no, uh, I think I've got to move, move forward because he's 40 feet down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. if you drop, by the way... Um, I mean, if, if I mean, if you drop, that it'll be forty-four. So I don't know if you want to find another way or climb to get down. No, no, no. I'll just move forward, and I should be able to shoot down at him. Yeah, you can shoot down at him. Yeah. And so he is out of shield energy. So anything you do at this point is life energy damage. Exactly. And so I am going to consume the last of my weapon energy. And actually use rolling rocks as a weapon. All right, this is exciting. Wait, wait. Does this mean what I think it means? Yeah, it will break the timeline to it. Rocks fall, bile dies. All Six. Right, so that's to hit. All right, that, Excellent. that will that will succeed. Cuz I at this point I'm I'm he's not going to see you coming with that. Cuz he's you are attacking 40 feet above in the air. 
for five stone impacting life energy damage. Uh, he is weakness is impacting, believe it or not. So he will take <laughs> ten stone impacting damage. Um, he has eighteen life energy left. I think yeah. X can handle that. <laughs> Uh, Zero puts a, uh, a, 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 like a hand over X's shoulder. You've got this. They grow up so fast. Uh, yeah. Charge Oops. shot! Oh god, it's command mission. <laughs> <laughs> Charge two. And fire. Does everybody want to say the line in chat? No, not a charge shot! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! X. X is gonna give it to him! Uh, you know what? I'll I'll give Vile one dodge. Can he dodge? He cannot. <laughs> Here we go. That is... Ah, uh, that's three short. That's three short. May I do my turn to help out? Yeah, that? go ahead. I'm going to sprint towards Vile, grabbing the uh, the seratanium break hammer again. Just shove him. That should work. I was gonna say I you can't sprint, but I could take another action to jump or something like that. I don't think I've moved. You haven't bad. moved. Yeah. That's fair, but it's no longer your turn. Fair. Then Standard that, movement can only you know, be done during your turn in the combat round. Uh, in that case, uh, allow me to just shoot him. Yeah, that's fine. The, uh... You see his glowing red eye, you could probably shoot that clean off. That is an eight. Uh, he's he's already being like in like enveloped by the charge shot. You know what? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. You know, I'd make a. Uh, I'd be saying something witty and nappy, but uh, screw it. I. <laughs> yeah. Between your powerful solar energy bullets and X's charge level two, the big blue plasma ball basically annihilates the remainder of Vile's Ceritanium, or Titanium X armor, and your three shots clear through and destroy um, his control chip and head entirely. Boom. You have broken the timeline, guys! You took out Vile! I'm gonna look yeah. up and go. Hey, uh, blue boy! I think you got him. Uh, X gives you a thumbs up. I am blessed, truly. Um, hey, uh, Commander. Uh, this whole area needs to be condemned. Uh, how many casualties did we have? Uh, depending on whether or not we can put uh, Rexy back together. Uh, uh just one. Hmm. Well, it could have been a lot worse. Congrats on taking care of Vile. He would have probably been a much larger threat. Let's get everyone home and uh, see if we can get an extra team to assess damages here. In fact, I'm going to stick around. X, you and, uh, you and the rest of your troop make it back to base. And congrats on a successful retirement. Let's talk about promotions afterward. Um, X actually has a rather ecstatic look on his face. Just hearing all of this talk, all this positive talk from his senpai. Um, yeah, we were gonna tell you about how one day you'll be as strong as me, but, uh, no, turns out you're already there. Yeah, he's gonna have a bit of a confidence boost, I suppose, after this. But no, it was, it was, the 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 power the the power to survive was the friends and dinosaurs we blew up along the way. The lessons <laughs> we learned. I 
did not stick. They happened multiple times. So again, and this is something that you can absolutely have happen in the 21XX system. Obviously, the module has a specific thing, and you've heard the path of how it goes. Uh, and as these eventually become available for interaction and for play with other operators, you'll be able to experience this too. But there could be an instance in which that doesn't go as intended, and Vile was... In the module, Zero very much does say, target all hands, target Vile. And if they don't succeed, Vile gets away. Y'all did it. Y'all took him out. This is absolutely great. I had, this was, this was really cool. Rexy has fallen apart more times than Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> um, I didn't have, I didn't have the X1 stage theme entirely on hand and, uh, I just, I forgot to, you know what, I had a lot of things going on this evening, but you know what, I'm, 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 y'all did a great job. Do y'all want to talk about what happens afterwards, our epilogue for each of our respective players minus Rexy, because, uh, you're, you're, you're mega dead at this point. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Thank you so much for playing, though. Oh, yeah, I had fun. Yeah. Rexy will be back. Rexy will and be his back. his butt will be in chat. Okay. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> um, what happens for Mason Man, Loader Man, and Rook? Uh, you know what, uh, Ronan? Let's start with you. What happens? What? How? How does? What happens with Loader Man? Does he end up continuing with the war effort? He tries to pivot a little bit more toward uh, repair, trying to uh, fix up the places that have been uh, hurt by the war. Uh, and uh, tries to do something in Rexy's honor. Making sure everything is up to code as the best he can. Okay. Um, if you ever choose to use this character again for future runs, you can add Disciplined Osha <laughs> to your character sheet. <laughs> um, you can also uh, advance your rank up to rank... Uh, actually, wait. You start at rank A, don't you? I believe that's correct, yes. I, go ahead and bump yourself up to rank S for taking out Vile. Congratulations. Uh, also, because you beat a boss, you will milestone up. Um, Mason Man, what happens with you? Uh, so, Mason Man uh, actually uh, becomes a little less jaded uh, after seeing uh, actually seeing X in action. Uh, and he will join an advanced team uh, that will go out uh, and uh, scout preliminary areas uh, for X's intervention uh, while they try and take down Sigma. I think that's really cool. Um, and that definitely is a great place to kind of settle you in for like future runs of like the X1 uh, gameplay. Should you choose to play with Mason Man again, uh, Milestone, you're up uh, yourself up to Milestone 2. Um, mm -hmm. Increase your rank. Uh, oh, actually, what, what your what was your prior rank being in the deployment corps? C. Cool. Congratulations. You're going up to A rank. You're jumping up two steps. Um, nice. And uh, as well, uh, you will receive um, as a as a as a memento uh, because you did you were you were you you did the most you you provided the most to Rexy and you basically were able to you were part of the salvage crew you will take rexy's serotanium tail flail you can either give it to someone else or equip it to another machine or even use it for yourself for future runs that's intense yeah all right um rook oh uh, you being a cyberspace hacker you're not exactly part of the hunters and uh we're in a really weird situation but what do you exactly do now that you've interacted with these various machines, where, where do you go from here? I, I think Rook has kind of, like, he's, he's got some respect for these guys. Like, they, they fought well. I don't know if he would outright join the Maverick Hunters, maybe if, if the offer was ever extended. But until then, he's going to keep hacking. But, uh, you know, the Maverick Hunters are going to find some uh, files being sent. Oh. You know, every now and then, there may be a... Uh, hey, here's some rumors going around or some info about Maverick Hunter, like Maverick attacks or Maverick plans, just with the signature of Shell Saint. Huh. Okay. 
That's kind of intense, actually. <laughs> oh man, y'all raise for a build a character before the session goes? Alright, we can do that. That sounds fun. Sure, why not? Uh, we'll do one build a character before we end today's session. Uh, Rook, go ahead and advance your character to Milestone 2. You have the option uh, to either continue down the round of the Cyberspace Hacker, or, uh, you know, Hunters could use every uh, as much help as they can until Sigma's taken out. If you wanted to join, the option's available to you. I think I'll join. You got a, got a unit you're interested in running with? Well, I think the communications could potentially use a hacker. Absolutely, and you definitely have the uh, the uh, the analytics uh, for um, for it. So, if that's the case, you can add the navigation technique to your character sheet. Heck yeah! Uh, which is cool. Navigators in twenty one XX are really cool. I messed up the the uh, uh, setup there, um, but yeah, no, uh, it's. Uh, I'll look forward to seeing if you end up doing this. You guys are milestoned up, so this means you may be coming back with these characters in a future run. Uh, Rexy did not make it. Um, Rexy may come back as a, in, a, in a prequel fashion, maybe at some point, uh, based on how we do this. Or an alternate universe thing, you know. Maybe Over 4 gets a, uh, gets a change of heart and pulls Rexy back out of, into the time stream. You never know. We only saw the tail. We don't know where the rest of the body is. Um, X and Zero will continue along their adventures. Zero will basically continue to scout out uh, at this point. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Y'all defeated Vile, didn't you? Indeed. Y'all defeated Vile! Y'all actually <laughs> get weapons off of this! Yo. Yeah. For successfully completing Vile, add the electroshock bullet technique to your character sheet. Uh, it goes for every player here. Mason Man, Loader Man, and Rook Hughes. Y'all gain Electroshock Bullet. Uh, even X2, but it, it's fine. Wow, this is this is this is the realm. This is the actual campaign where X gets gets a technique rather than a special weapon. This is the command mission timeline. That's that's pretty cool. All right, with that, I will say this run is a success for all those who are still with us. Uh, Player-wise, if you would like to stick around for just a few moments more, uh, we have gotten a request from chat to build a 21XX character together on stream. Are y'all down for that? Good thing. I'm down. Genji, you down for it as well? Oh. Sorry, I was on mute. I apologize about that. Uh, I'm actually, I've got to, I've got to head out, so oh. I've got uh, I've got to be up in the morning, but uh, right. I do appreciate it. It's been a great time, and uh, I will definitely have a Mason Man back at some point. Yo, thank you very much for playing. I really appreciate it. Chat, please give give Kinji a round of applause. Definitely, uh, de de definitely be sure to check out Kin uh, uh, Kinji playing in future runs. And uh, shameless plug for Pokemon Stars and Stripes. You know, he's uh, we've got episodes coming up of that. You don't want to miss them. Uh, Take care, man. You have a good evening. You too. Night, guys. Good night. Good night. All right. And then there were two. I am tackling a nightly. Uh, oh, God. Not an OBS source. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, what have I done? Oh, God. I removed the... Ro oh, God. Everything's... Everything's bad. Oh, we also apparently now just lost the uh, lost the Discord link. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, yeah. I meant to do window capture. Oh, yeah, window capture. I'm so good at this, guys. Oh, God. Character builder. Let's go. Let's 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 make some make some adjustments here. All right. We're going to machine gun this together, guys. Each of us are going to pick a thing, and we're going to have to live with it. Um, Ronan, we'll start with you. What race are we picking? You know, Rick did a pretty good job. Let's go human today. Human! All right, let's go. Um, Cobalt, what are our main stats for? Uh, you know what? Charisma. Charisma. Just oops, all charisma? 
Uh, charisma, and I think I'll also say mobility. Charisma and mobility. Uh, is one higher than the other? Uh, charisma, definitely. Charisma, cool. And if we're doing the basic humanoid chassis setup, we can add a bonus to charisma or lucidity. I'm assuming we bounce charisma up. Of course. Yeah, okay. Um, we're cool. We're gonna make the bard. We, we, we're Stop making now. the bard. Um, cool, yeah, I can. Uh, let's do skill checks then. Uh, I'll pick Persuade. Bluff. Networking. Sensory. Repair. Kind of a roguish kind of dude. Size is medium. Oh, we can make him large, though. We can make him buff. I don't know. What size are we choosing? Ronan, what do you think? I think medium's good. We could have it. It's tiny. We could make them a small child. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Cobalt, what kind of cybernetics would you throw on this one? Oh, we've seen how good the Kevlar jacket eh. is. But I think I would also want to take the external broad range auditory headset. Okay. And the containment limb. The containment limbs. Oh, we, we Robocop now. Uh, is it an arm or a leg that we have the containment in? Well, you mentioned Robocop, so I feel like we should go leg. Damn, you right, you right. Um, Ronan, we got 22 build points. Anything else you want to throw in here? Uh, yeah, let's click on shopping. Or sorry, we need to, fi we, we need we to gotta finish everything else. First. Yeah. Uh, what faction uh, do we want? Why don't you pick that? Ah, uh, that is a good question. Like, with our charisma, we've got some options there. Uh, with two, with uh, uh, a high set of charisma, we have Bounty Hunter. We have third deployment core. We have uh, tenth special forces. Uh, criminal. Um, as much fun as criminal would be, I think bounty hunter, especially with that containment leg. Uh, you know what? Bounty hunter sounds pretty cool. Um, switch to shopping. You know what? Uh, let's see. We're we're just RoboCop. Yeah. We're, we're just Robocop. Buster Pistol. The Auto 9 is right there. Actually, we start with a Buster Pistol. I guess I couldn't. I didn't need to give him an, I, I didn't need to give him an extra one. He already started with one. Um, you know what? Maybe we pick a better weapon. What other weapon would we give him? Oh, well, we, we, we could also get a weapon enhancement for the Buster Pistol. Oh, that's true. Uh, like, uh, oh, weapon enhancement. We could do... So we were talking about this the other day. How? What's the amount of weapon uh, upgrades that you can do with this one? There's only oh, uh, it's only one weapon upgrade with this. Mm -hmm. So now, you, you were talking about getting a different weapon, though. That's true. Um, well, I mean, you could have you got like the roguish kind of character. I love the beam whip. I think the beam whip is one of the most unique weapons in this system. The grapple at range is really powerful when it's used right. Um, it just It's really neat. What do you guys think about a beam whip? Sounds legit. Um, tell you what. Damage plus one, right? Mm -hmm. Damage plus one on the, on the gun. Range extend on the whip. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> mm. We already have the containment limb. We've already done that. Uh... Oh, man. Technically, the way uh, cybernetics work is as we can still technically put as long as we have one part. Like all human humans have like one upgrade slot each, regardless of how we do it. We could grab something like a hover module, and it would still work. That could be fun. Okay, uh, Zyler does say, "Remember the heat sink." Ah, we don't need a heat sink. Fine, we'll get the heat sink. 
when 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 the when the chat remembers how we do yeah um yeah 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 hover, hover module and then hover plus oh no we can't because kid you can only do one you can't do both now you have propulsion on your legs and you technically still have five build points left we could put that towards like um a Ceritanium Axe? Or You're like just loaded for bear at that point. Yeah, that's true. Um, maybe a cryostasis, ta cryostasis tank? We do the cybernetic HUD. We're not really an analytics character. Well, if we're going to get into melee, I think we might need some armor then. Uh, oh, wait. Kevlar jacket is too much. Uh, flak jacket, you'll have one point left. Hey, and you know what? What we can use that last point on? Another gun. All of the guns. You're just making a Belmont. Look. I then. Look, you're not wrong. All right, what are we naming this character? I, I don't know. I don't think we'd get this far. Um. Barret. I know what we did. Not Barret is in like um, uh, Final Fantasy VII Barret, but like uh, we made a humanoid right. version of uh, the Bright Bats Legends Three Barret. I know normally he'd be more of a melee guy, but I don't know. This seems cool. Uh, quick question, Sean. Yeah. Since I hopped onto a new faction. Yeah. Uh, do I just add the skill advances as well as what I had from uh, when game? you when you gain a new faction you do not get you um you do not gain the starting skill advancements you only gain the additional techniques um and I believe you gain the resistances so all right so nothing really changes yeah you just get navigation basically for you at this point uh, which is still a powerful technique to have even at at the milestone that you're at. Um, uh, question. Do I go down in rank as well, since I was technically rank B as a hacker? <laughs> uh, no. You can maintain your 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 rank B hack. Power. Good question, though. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is a fair question to ask. I I think with that, we have we have overstayed our welcome. Thank you guys for joining me tonight for this uh, this Mega Man X showcase of the Central Highway stage. You're just making a Belmont. We're allowed. We're allowed to make a Belmont. Barrett Belmont. Um. Once again, guys, if you haven't downloaded the 21XX Foundation Guide, you can do so at 21XXRPG.com. If you haven't played any games with this on the Control Alt Crit Discord, definitely check out our website or uh, go to the 21XXRPG website as well to join our Discord and be a part of the community and be able to play in games. We have several, and I repeat, several um, games that are being run uh, by many of the folks who are in this uh, in this game tonight, outside of Kinji, uh, Autumn, Ronan, and Cobalt are all operators like myself, uh, showcasing different aspects of the game. Um, I'll spoil a little bit of what everybody's doing, uh, so you may be inclined to check them out. Uh, Cobalt is going to be playing the... Uh, we'll, we'll get Central Highway at the end, so he'll get to have a little bit of fun with that, but he will be playing with content before the events of Mega Man X1 first. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> If you ever wanted to test your metal against um, a certain red reploid, you may want to check into Cobalt's campaign. Um, the uh, the next game run by Ronin uh, is a couple of original adventures done written by us. Uh, actually, specifically one written by himself, uh, which has a fantastic boss. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, worth checking out. Um, and also an adventure run by me that if you are familiar with the early 21XX material, you will be a little giddy over, I think. Uh, so definitely check that out. And then, uh, Autumn is running the actual X1 timeline. So she is going through, uh, Central Highway and, uh, will have a small selection 
of stages for players to be able to go through, uh, depending on what choices they do uh, for uh, 21XX sessions. So could be stuff like Chill Penguin, uh, Storm Eagle, depending on what goes on, you know, uh, we'll see. Uh, and then myself, I am still finishing up a session before I showcase content in Mega Man Extreme 2, uh, which should be kind of fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, once again, guys, thank you very much. Uh, don't hesitate to ask us questions on the Discord. Send us a message on YouTube. Uh, respond uh, via there. Send us an email. Um, Demonic does absolutely have one as well. Uh, I was just talking about the individuals that are in here. Demonic Bigfoot, who was in one of our prior streams, will also be in there as well. Uh, so definitely don't want to miss that too. Um, thanks very much, guys. You take care. Have a pleasant evening. And we'll see you next time with another 21XX video. Um, next session is a surprise. We'll oh, announce no. what's going on with the next 21XX stream next month. Take care.